Get ready for action. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Storm Podcast. I'm your host, Malcolm. I'm here with a guest today. Sheesh. Sad Boy Radio in the building. What it do? What's good? What's good? It's your boy, E, man. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what it is. Man, I'm ready for this. This is going to be a good-ass interview. This is your first time ever being on another podcast, right? Yeah, bro. This is my first time being interviewed, so I'm kind of excited because... I'm so used to like having questions ready for people and you know not telling them what they're gonna fucking be asked. Right. I'm yeah. I'm like, damn, what am I about to be asked? Bro, that's, that's really the most fun part. Yeah. Anytime I've gone on another podcast, like people will hit me up and they're like, yo, what do you want to talk about? What about this? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm down for whatever. Mm-hmm. Don't don't tell me. I'll just walk into it and we'll just vibe out like that. And that's some of the most fun, like. That's how you get some of the most fun and authentic content. Yeah. It seems like the best kind of change of pace. Like, nothing's really... Or you don't have to plan anything out. You're just the one cool and getting asked the questions. It seems lit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, typically, I'll ask people, like, what's going on in your life? Because, you know, my podcast is really centered around everyday life problems, bro, and connecting it to music lyrics. So, right. um when you're able to hit that deeper level with somebody and know what they're going through at that moment, you're able to just relate the topic easier, you know? Facts, uh, yeah. Typically, people will shoot me about, like, three, four topics. Word. And sometimes I'll be able to just think of something to make it all one mm-hmm. or we'll hit each topic separately. So it really depends. Um, and at the end of the day, they don't really know what they're going to be asked, you know? Right. Sometimes I know shit about them that they don't think I know. Right. Just because I've done my research and that oh, yeah, yeah that, shit. That, that sounds weird, right? But it's <laughs> like I that's one of the things that I value most, right? Is that people do their research before they interview someone because imagine you go on to someone's shit and they don't know anything about you. Like they're just asking you random questions like it doesn't make sense. Right. Why yeah. do you want to interview somebody that you have done no research? You have not watched their shit. You have not looked at anything. It just is like, you just invited me here to use my name. And that fucking sucks. Exactly. Yeah. I had a podcast who, it was before we were recording. They asked me, they were like, yo, uh, what made you hit us up for content? Blah, blah, blah. Like, do y'all, do you normally just be shooting people random uh, DMs? I'm like, nah, bro. Like, it wasn't a random DM. I always make sure that I watch at least one episode of your content to know. Because like... Bro, you can't just hit up a podcast and be like, yo, can I slide on here? Bro, what if y'all are a knitting podcast? Like, (laughs) I don't know shit about knitting. Like, you know, I got to make sure everything that I do, I do my best to make sure that it will fit well with my brand and make the best content for the people who care about watching my content, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, and also having fun. That's a big piece of it, too. If it's somewhere where I feel like, one, I won't have fun doing it, or two, my people won't have fun watching it, then what are we doing it for? Just because you're a big-ass name or because you have this or have that? No, nah, I'm not going to hit you up for that reason. If you, There have been podcasts that have hit me up and they're like, yo, let's make some content. And I'm like, I'm going to be honest. I've watched you guys' content and I just don't feel like I'm a good fit. Even if they're not... They, bro, there was one podcast specifically. Their numbers were way better than our numbers. But... It was a, like a surfer boy podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, like they really only talk about Surf, surfing man. tips, yeah. which I thought it was weird they hit me up in the first place. I think it was just because my TikTok was bigger than theirs. But I was like, I can't really vibe out to that. You know, like I've yeah. been hit up by other podcasts. Like um, I went on Everyday City Carry and they're about knives and shit. But knives. They, yeah, like they um kind of talk about like, what type of knives you should... It's for, like, knife enthusiasts. Yeah. But they have content about everything. So while a lot of their main content is about knives, they also make content about pop culture, about anime, about really whatever. So had a great time. That was actually one of my favorite podcasts to do. But if their content had only been about knives and they were inviting me on to speak about knives, I would have been like... Uh, I don't know uh, shit about nah, knives. Bro. That's actually what I responded with. When he DM'd me, he was like, yo, you want to come on? I hit him back and I was like, hey, I'm going to be honest, bro. I don't know shit about knives. He was like, nah, bro, you don't have to know shit about knives. We're not going to talk about knives. We're going to talk about the shit you wanna, that you talk about. And I was like, perfect. 
now it'll be a fun interview. Yeah. But if I'm going to come on to talk about surfboards, I can't do that. And I'm not going to pretend like I can. Because mm. my listeners know me. And they're going to be like, you don't know shit about surfboards, <laughs> What's he bro? doing a podcast bro? about surfboards? Yeah, bro. like it's just, not, it's just not worth it, bro. So, yeah. yeah, that's what's up on that, bro. But I wanted to ask, what made you start podcasting? I like doing podcasts with other podcasters because everybody's potting story is different. Yeah. Um, man, podcasting was really... It was around November of 2020. I just had the idea, bro. I really... I think it might have just been a bunch of different things building up. Um, but I would always say sad boys, like sad boys. Um, right. In college, before the pandemic, there was, uh, I went as Bad Bunny for Halloween. And one of my fraternity brothers at the time, he was like, you're not Bad Bunny, you're Mad Bunny. I'm like, nah, Sad Bunny. Because <laughs> I would say sad boys. Right. So yeah. that kind of caught on for a little bit. And then the pandemic happened, and I really just uh, was on my own shit, you know? Um, right. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about like some shit. Call it Sad Boy Radio, because I love music. Right. I always, when I have conversations with people, I genuinely like pull music lyrics. Right. And I'm like, you know, this specific lyric makes me think of this time in my life. Or when I hear this song, like, it takes me back to when I was, like, a little fucking sad boy, you know? Right. Um, so it had been in the works. I had talked about it for a long time and uh, ended up stopping talking to this one girl. Had more time on my hands. Uh, and my fraternity brother at the time, I was like, you know, I have this idea for this podcast. It was about January. Mm hmm and I just kept pushing it off, bro, until about February, the end of February. So about a year ago today, I right. was like, damn, let's start next week. And my boy's like, let's just start Wednesday. Damn. And I'm like, Wednesday? I'm like, oh, I guess. And he's like, right. I mean, if you're ready, you're ready. You know, like, what? what's the, why are you waiting? That's a fact. So, yeah, bro, that, that's the long answer. But really the short answer is it was to journal my own fucking, like, shit that was going on with me, like, uh, if you don't mind me pulling on my phone, like, I'll oh, yeah, tell you the first it. five episodes, bro. And these five episodes were literally um, shit that was on my mind, you mm -hmm. know. Um, the first one was, what would fame do to you? And that's really talking about, <clears throat> like, as artists, we want to our shit to blow up. We want right. to be known for it. And it's like, what would fame do to you, you know? Uh, will it make you fucking become an addict like a lot of people will it make you fucking feel empty inside because of you know everybody's around you but at the end of the day like you just only got you you know Facts. Yeah. um that was a lot of the shit that was on my mind what made you this way is uh you know the shit that you go through growing up you know what made you you i've done that topic a couple different times in a different form each time you know right. Th this one was mainly <clears throat> Like your roots, you know, uh, right. growing up Hispanic, you know, a lot of Hispanics have that every weekend where you wake up and you hear a bunch of loud ass Spanish music and your mom's cleaning the house. Facts. Like that stereotypical yeah. fucking experience, bro. Right. Uh, who am I? Like, like literally like exactly what made you you toxic relationships. That was number four. Uh, <laughs> so this is where that, you know, yeah. the influence from that girl came on where it's like damn, I just went through this shit, toxic as fuck, like, how did it impact me? And right. then um, the fifth one was, does time heal all wounds? Um, hmm. Because what, What's your answer to that? Does time heal all wounds? I believe it does, bro. I really do genuinely believe time heals all wounds because some shit that I was fucking hurt over a year ago, you know, I'm not fucking sad about it anymore. You know, I right. understand yeah. what happened. I understand, like, the... You'll never be able to understand one person's fucking, their thinking, right? right You'll never bro. be able to completely understand why they did something to you. Facts. But over time, it just becomes easier. And say somebody that hurt you a year ago, you know, I guarantee you if they were close enough to you, you would forgive them. And maybe you'll never have the same relationship again. Right. But I guarantee you, you'll be like... It's okay. You know what? We can move past it. 
do I want you in my life at this point? And this is the point I'm at because this was a year ago. You know, right. this was a year ago where I stopped talking to this person. Right. And I'm like, do I want you in my life again? No. Am I okay with what happened now because it's been a year and I've had my own experiences and I've realized like w- the things you were telling me? Right. It's like, sure, I'm okay with it. You right. Know? Yeah. That's kind of how it goes. I mean, I think we all have relationships. Me, not like romantic. I'm more in a friendship way where it's like, yo, not friends with this person. This shit happened, blah, 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 whatever. And it's like, would I be homies with you today? I probably wouldn't hit you up to go kick it and fucking play video games or whatever but i mean you're cool what happens like bro it happens like if we've ever been friends like i got you you know what i'm saying like if you need me for some shit i'm gonna be there but we're, the relationship just isn't where it used to be you know mm-hmm. and that's just kind of how some shit has to go sometimes in life you know yeah i'm the same way i mean the way i see it is i'm always forgive you or maybe not always but a good amount of the time i'm gonna forgive you and I'm not going to forget what happened. I'm going to remember it and I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to grow and right. be better. Right. That's kind of the most important thing in life. Like Life is really just about growing and learning and taking the next step, knowing what you learned from the last step. You feel me? You can't just... And I mean, to an extent, maybe I'm different, but I feel like it kind of sucks to not be able to go at everything with that same... Uh, not... Fuck, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Naivety, you know, like naive. Mm, not, yeah, Naivety. whatever the the yeah, yeah that shit yeah. is. Um, it would be nice to be able to go into some situations like that because um, just really think about how awesome it was to go into your first relationship, never have been hurt before. You know, like mm. just like yo, this is gonna be the best shit ever. Are you ever gonna go into some shit like that the exact same way? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> like once you wrinkle up a piece of paper, it's never gonna be perfectly flat <laughs> yeah. ever again. Uh, and I mean, that's cool though. Yeah, I think about that a lot. Um, that you're just uh, that's a conversation I've had on my show, and that's a conversation I've had, you know, with my like my mom, like everybody's damaged, bro. Like everybody is hurt in some shape, way, or form and it sucks. It really does suck to think that you'll never be able to feel just like innocent again, I guess, right. you know, like yeah. there's always going to be something that really hurt you and something that really impacted you that just changed the way you view the fucking world. Thanks. And, uh, you know, when it comes to like relationships, especially relationships with people, you know, I was thinking about that, you know, when you go back, like, when you go back to someone, right? Because this isn't just me. This is like people that I know, you know, when you go back to someone like that relationship's never the same. Right. Uh, whatever, like the way you guys broke up and the way you guys stopped fucking with each other, like you're still going to remember that. And you're going to remember like, damn, this person did this shit to me after we fucking cut each other off. And then it comes to like, say you got someone new and then say you have someone old that comes back. Right. Right. Yeah. It's like, most likely you're going to choose the old person because of that history and because of, you know, those feelings that you had. And you feel like there's not closure in that situation. But then again, it's like, if I do this new person dirty, you know, I'm going to realize like, damn, I fucked up with this person. Right. And by the time that you and the old person break up again, the new person is not going to be able to look at you the same way. Right. So it's like, it's just a cycle, bro. Like you keep recycling until when? Until you fucking are like, damn, I finally learned. Like, right. I'm just going to stick to the new person that loves me unconditionally that hasn't had any bad experience with me, you know? Yeah. It's really just about learning from your mistakes. And that's really what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Being so young in your podcasting journey, what are some of the mistakes you feel like you have made or learned from this shit I like bro being a podcaster myself there's so much fucking shit i didn't learn like and yeah like what is some of the shit you don't learn man um well for one our setup has changed a lot um ours too shit. like yeah. vi- visual wise i've really tried to focus on like how can i do better visually um close up wise like there's just so much back end shit that mm-hmm. Nobody really realizes, you know, like, if, like, we got three cameras, right? Right. 
someone who doesn't really know much about video and audio and all that shit, like, they would probably think, like, oh, he's got one camera and he does all that shit, like, post-production, right? right? No, like, we, we have a whole fucking setup that it takes a minute. Uh, You know, a year ago, I never thought I would know how to edit. Like, I had no Press. knowledge of fucking editing, and I went from not knowing to using iMovie to now using Premiere Pro, and I had to teach myself that shit, you know? Premiere it's not, Pro is difficult, too. That, that shit was... Honestly, like once you get a hang of it, it's not too bad. It's it's probably a little bit easier, but like my first time doing it, I was so intimidated because Hell I yeah. never seen the software and being able to line shit up, making sure shit looks good. Like it was just a bitch to do, you know. Um, yeah. I can swear on here, right? Oh yeah, bro. yeah, Go my bad. It. Cause no, I've been, we we, I, sm- we swear. Yeah, I've lot. been cursing Freaking and I'm me. like, damn, nobody's stopping me. Um, no, yeah, go no, for that shit. But yeah, bro, I mean, just shit like that. Like, I never, I honestly 100% can tell you, I never thought I would do that shit in my life. I yeah. never wanted to learn. I never cared. And now I fucking, I wouldn't say I'd be able to go get a certification, but right. I definitely yeah. know my shit to where, like, I could probably get paid a couple bucks to do somebody's editing if right. I liked it enough. You know, I hate editing with the passion. It's a great skill to have, though. <laughs> yeah. I see. I actually found a love for editing through podcasting. I actually think it's kind of fun to edit. And it's kind of cool to watch content from the eyes of an editor. Like, after you've edited your own content and seen that, watching, like, even, like, top-of-the-line professional shit, you'll be watching, like, damn, that was an interesting cut. Or, mm. hmm, I wonder why this happened or blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I feel like it just kind of makes watching content more interesting after having edited so much content myself. It def- I mean, yeah. Watching the edited content is lit, but editing is a bitch. I do not fuck with that. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of like a puzzle almost. You know, like you want to, you have all the pieces there, but now I have to make it what my final vision is. That That's kind of, I don't know, that's kind of how it feels to me. Yeah. It, it definitely does change like the way you view videos. Like, you know, even watching music videos. Yeah. I watch yeah. music videos now and I'm like, damn, like there's so much shit you could have done with this and you dropped the bag. Like you Facts. fumbled the bag for sure. Um, but yeah, man, just that editing. Do you know how to do like uh what's it called? Special effects and shit? Um, not really. I don't really need it for podcasting. Yeah. The extent of my editing uh talents are basically just what it takes for my podcast, what it takes for my YouTube content, streaming clips, shit like that. Mm. Yeah. That's really the extent of it. I know you're, you don't really do special effects or shit in yours either, E, right? Not really. No. I've seen a couple people sort of use it, but it doesn't really seem like something I would need. Yeah. Yeah. I I just kind of stick to what I need. I don't, my goal isn't to be an editor, you know? My goal is to be a content creator and podcaster. So I really just learn the skills that I need for my content. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, to really answer the question, though, um, mistakes and shit I've learned is just, like, shit that you learn over time, bro. Like, at the end of the day, like like I said, the content, when you first start, it's not going to be fucking great, bro. It's yeah. fucking, Fact. it's rough. <laughs> like, I go back and watch my first video. Like, we were on a couch, no fucking lights, fucking... Audio is rough, visual is rough, and it's not that we didn't care, it's that we didn't know any better. Exactly. And it's kind of like we had to learn over time, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Now we're, like I said, we're a, we're about to be a year in. We're not officially a year in, but um, now we got our lights, now we got a setup, now, you know, I have my outlines. My first one, I'm pretty sure I did with, like, a very, very, very rough outline. Right. And... Those outlines have really helped me in a way that nobody really will understand, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not going to tell you what's behind those outlines, so to say, but definitely those outlines, you know, they help. So just little shit like that, you know. Yeah. As far as mistakes, you know, I wouldn't say there's mistakes because at the time we thought they were right, right? Exactly. So we can't say it was like, damn, we fucked up there, but definitely like we've had technical difficulties where I've had to make stupid ass cuts or put up my logo in the middle because yeah. the fucking video cut out like shit like yeah, that that's just me, I know the vibes. stuff like that trust too. me I know the vibes <laughs> oh man that shit was the worst because it was such a good episode too and I had to do that shit I'm like fuck me yeah. yeah I mean and sometimes it's just technology you know and like 
I am very, very appreciative for our listeners and how understanding and loyal they are in watching our videos or listening to where if there is an issue or whatever, you know, they still stick with us through it. And what's even more important is they'll let us know. Because, you know, sometimes there are shit that you don't even see, you know, like you won't even realize. Like, I'm super thankful for the listeners that we have that'll be like, yo, at the three hour mark, the audio got unsynced with the video, you know what I'm saying? Or this happened or that happened or like, oh shit, like now we know for next time to make sure that doesn't happen. Now I can tune in a little bit harder on this while editing or whatever. And that that shit helps so much. Those are the best type of people. Oh my gosh. Whenever I'm in the stream or something like that and my audio goes out and I have no idea, there's always like one person that'll let me know like, yo, your audio went out. And I'm like, so helpful. Thank you. Shout out to those people, man. <laughs> Shout out to those people. Man. Shit, I wish... I mean, I can't say I've had those people, like, where they're like, damn, this shit happened. But, um, you know, it's it's rough watching your shit sometimes, and it's like, damn, I fucked up. Yeah. Um, especially, like... it's Bro, I be spending hours editing. Me too. So, especially, like, have you had it where your shit is synced, like, so, what do you use to edit your videos? I use Filmora. Okay. Filmora X, yeah. So, with Premiere Pro... I've used Premiere it, also. Though. It, I've edited some of our episodes on Premiere. So, with Premiere Pro, it auto-syncs, right? You're able to auto-sync. Oh, you talking about when it gets off-sync? Man, my shit was tweaking on my last episode. Like, I had to delete all the videos, bring all the videos back, and instead of nesting it, which is putting it into one sequence... Yeah. I had to edit them separately. So I had like, five, luckily, I had told my producer, I'm like, yo, when you do the videos, make sure you do them, uh, like when you restart the camera, restart them all at once. So there's the same amount of videos. Because for one episode, there was like nine videos on one camera, four videos on one camera. That and used then, to happen uh, like, with our old setup too. Yes. Yeah. Some little shit. Do you guys have the same cameras? Uh. No, we don't have the same cameras, but like, does this camera like shut off sometimes automatically? Um, there's settings that you can use to make it not do that. Mm. Sometimes it does. So sometimes we can record in higher video quality and it'll mm. shut off, or we can just record in the standard quality and it won't. So okay, so for our shit, like, um, our 4K will shut off around 30 minutes. Yeah, our regular cameras will shut off at like 12 minutes. Damn. And it's like at that time, um, he was restarting them like really quick. Uh, shout out to Vic because Vic's the homie, bro. Like your cameraman's name yeah, is Vic. Yeah, Our okay. old cameraman used <laughs> to be named Vic. Vic. That funny. shit is crazy. Yeah. Shout out Big Oof, man. Uh, shout out Vic. For real, because if it weren't for Vic, like bro, like none of this shit would be possible. Nah, I feel um, that. But to get back to it, you know, like luckily I told him to start like doing it. So there's the same amount of videos on each camera. Otherwise, I would have been fucked. Like, right. I would have been, like, so fucking pissed, bro. And, uh, yeah, bro, I just, uh, I had to delete everything, do them all separately. And if you're watching this, you're probably like, that's not that big of a deal. Like, no, it if is. you're editing, it you is. know, because you got to fucking color grade it all separately, the five videos. Like, when yeah. you nest them, you're able to color grade them all at once, whereas... Now I have to color grade them each separately. Like, it's yeah. just a fucking bitch of a process. So I was like, so, man, I'm telling you, bro, I was up now to I like, vibes. I was up to like four in the morning Damn. and I had to work at 630. So I've done that some before. crazy I've ass shit, bro. And I, like, I was just, yeah, bro, shit like that. I've done shit like that before, man. I really appreciate your hustle and consistency because that for me, has been the most important thing in podcast world is being consistent and being able to do that shit to where the whole episode gets fucking deleted and re-edit that shit again, even though I got work at four in the morning. <laughs> Has that shit happened to you too? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh yeah. my gosh. That shit happened to me like two or three times, yeah, bro. Yeah, that shit's happened like twice. So this guest, I'm having her on this week, this tomorrow actually. Her name's Word. Mia Alba. Um, shout out Mia Yeah shout out Mia She's got the same last name as me So um, Gang Fucking Bro 
I probably spent like six, seven hours doing the first edit. Damn. I had to re-edit that bitch a whole second time. Damn. I think How it, long was the episode? I don't know. Probably like 40, 40 50 minutes. But Damn. the thing is, like, I had, to, you know, all that little shit you yeah. got to cut. So yeah. fucking, bro, it would probably, I just, I just finished it. Right. And... I exited out of iMovie for some shit. And you know, iMovie saves automatically, so you don't think anything of it. I go back in, the whole thing is gone. And I'm like, oh, bro, I had to... That shit's happened before. I think the same thing. I had work at like 9, and I stayed up till like... This happened at like 1 in the morning, or it happened at 12. I was trying to save it till like 1, and I'm like, fuck it, bro. I got to redo the whole thing. So I finished it in like four hours. Yeah. So... Yeah, bro. Like, I no, don't know. I've done shit like that, bro. Like, but it's got to get done. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, we got listeners, we got a listenership, and they want to hear our shit. And I got to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the mindset that you have to have. The mindset is, I have to make this shit happen. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I know at the end of the day, this shit's going to get done. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it difficult um, doing a podcast that you have to, not have to, but you majority rely on guests? Is that like, how much more difficult is that? Because us, we don't really, like we know that we're all going to be here, blah, blah, blah. Like we don't really have to coordinate with anybody else because we've carved out, it's, all of us have carved out a slot in our week. Is it, like how difficult has it been to have to like coordinate with other people who are like outside of your production team to do that? Um, not hard to be honest. Really? Um, hard. you know, generally I, I really follow the rule of, you know, respect. Like, you know, I respect you as an individual. I respect your time. Fact, uh, yeah. you know, that's all I ask from, you know, the guests, you know, respect me as an individual, respect my time. You know, I'll always contact the guest, you know, a couple days in advance to right. get a second confirmation. You know, if something, if you're not going to be able to make it, you know, just let me know. Uh, right. we can reschedule, I'll go find another guest. Uh, you know, not that like to give that impression, like everybody's replaceable, but I understand life comes up, you know, yeah. Yeah. shit happens. So, you know, if I have to, you know, I'll ask, I'll have somebody, you know, ready to go because it, that's what it takes. Um, Thanks. you know, shout out to all my guests. Like they really come through, um, I haven't really had any problems where, like, I've scheduled somebody and they just can't make it, you know? Word. Um So, yeah, not, not really. That's um, what's up, then. Yeah. Definitely, like, yeah, bro. I I definitely wouldn't say we've had too much of an issue with that. Uh, yeah. That's, That's what's awesome. Up. Yeah. I feel like we're spoiled as podcasters, like, our, like the Storm podcast, because we make content with each other. We kind of learn each other. We know... Where, what we can lean on each other for, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like we, we've we kind of found a good way to blend everything to where there's a lot of shit that we just don't have to worry about just because of our team and we can lean off each other. Like, I know I might not be able to do this or if for whatever reason, I don't know enough about this topic, boom, my co-host, he got this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I know that someone always has my back no matter what the situation is. So, I don't know, I feel like we... We got lucky as far as podcasting goes. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we got lucky. That's dope, bro. I mean, like I said, bro, my fucking two man team, me and my boy Vic. Super uh, grinding. Yeah, that that dude's legit, bro. I fucking, I, I shot that dude out like every episode, bro. Like that's what's and, up, bro. And that, I don't think he will ever understand really like the importance he has and the like strong role he plays. Um. Cause if it, I'm telling you, if it weren't for him, bro, I would have shit recorded. You know, yeah. um, I like I said, I think about where I was a year ago, and it's like, you know, like we were talking about the podcast literally helps you become a better talker. Facts. It makes you grow as a person, and it just makes you think like, damn, I was in this place a year ago, now I'm here. Right, and yeah. I can guarantee you, like a year ago, all the artists I met, bro, I never would have thought I would have ever ran into people like that you know right so definitely and some of those like some of the people that i've met through podcasting or just through like you know creative space in general 
become like your genuine friends too yeah which is even like listeners that we have i've gotten very close with which is awesome bro i had like a lot of our listeners i'm friends with you know what i'm saying like through our discord i don't know if you guys use discord or not mm-hmm. but discord is an awesome for any podcasters listening discord is any an content awesome. creators like That's it's a, a great way to like interact with your community mm-hmm. yeah it's basically have you ever used discord no, I got Discord. I've just never really like explored it to like Where, see who's out there, you know. Um we use ours. We have like a podcast Discord for our podcast and our podcast listeners and basically it's like one big group chat. So there's a section to talk about our most recent episode. There's a section to talk about new music. There's a section to talk about new anime. There's a bunch of different sections in there. And it's just a place to vibe, you know? So we get to vibe with the listeners or instead of interacting in the comment section, which people still do interact in the comment sections, the real loyal listeners can, you know, at, well, anybody can do it, but the ones who really care will go to the Discord and they'll hop in the Discord and then talk in there. And then they can kind of talk with each other yeah. about the podcast episode or even talk with us about the podcast episode. And it kind of just, our podcast only releases once a week. We drop more content in like throughout the week, but mainly once a week. It's kind of a way to continue that podcast on for an entire week through the Discord, through the conversation, because we can mold those conversations. They can kind of join in, you know? Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. definitely uh, an interesting concept. I, I should explore that, but yeah, that's definitely dope. so uh, awesome. Bro, yeah. the Discord has helped our podcast grow so much just because it creates super loyal listeners and a friendship with the listeners it really just kind of gives the opportunity to break down that wall yeah and it's a good way to just like self-promote because it's i talk about a lot of my own personal stuff in there but it's a good way to keep podcast listeners involved with me Mm -hmm. so and you're able to you know what is it? You're able to connect with those, you know, just like you said, build those exactly. relationships. But it makes you find those people that are supporting you and you don't even know are supporting you. Yeah. you Facts. Know? I have 118 subscribers on YouTube. Right. And I probably, you know, I probably know like 40, 50 of them. But right. But that other 68 or something, like, I don't know who those people are. And I wish I knew, you know, because I really appreciate that support. And, uh... You know, you lose subscribers. The that, Man, that should be making me sad. I ain't that, gonna lie. I don't know. I think that shit's funny, bro. I'm like, you gotta be some type of hater, low key. Like to unsubscribe. How, how much, that does feel like uh, some how much hater. You, how much you gotta hate on somebody to like, bro? My YouTube. I don't care who I'm subscribed to, bro. That's yeah, a fact. I got a bunch of random That's people I'm subscribed to. It's good though, like. While it does feel bad when people unsubscribe or unfollow from my Instagram or whatever, it's good, bro. Because, you know, it helps my engagement overall. Mm. No, nobody wants to click on your page and see you have this many followers, but you only get 12 likes. You know, like, those are people who are following you, but they never like your shit. They never comment yeah, But So you might as well just, you know, <laughs> you know what, go, go follow someone you like. Because clearly you don't like me. That's cool on Instagram, bro. Like, honestly, like, if you want to follow my shit on Instagram... You know, it is what it is, you right. know. But on YouTube, bro, you you unsubscribe from my shit. Like, come on, bro. Like I feel that. We've definitely had some unsubscribers. And whenever I look, because I look at our analytics pretty frequently, just because, I don't know, I feel like that shit helps me know what I'm doing well and what I'm not doing well and what I need to capitalize on. And I'll see that, you know, you look at the little, it'd be the line graph. Yeah. Whenever that shit go negative, I'll be dip. like, damn, like these, <laughs> these niggas really dipped on us, bro. That's crazy. Know, bro. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, that's some type of hate, bro. Like, you, real. you really, you really saw my shit and you're like, man, I'm a I, I don't even I'm like, out. I don't even Come like on. this dude no more. Like, I'm going to unsubscribe from Right, I'm shit. like, why you subscribe? Yeah, like, that shit facts, don't even make sense. Why facts. you subscribe to unsubscribe? I don't know, like, if I'm subscribed to some shit, I'm not going to go out of my way to just... Like, no, nah, a lot of times yeah, I just let it rock. They have to it. do some <laughs> wild shit for me to unsubscribe. Yeah. But I got to watch this shit and be like, yo, I don't like this, this person as a person <laughs> yeah. anymore. I'll be like, yo, this person is racist or does some wild shit for me to be like, bro, yeah, unsubscribe. You gotta be out Anything of else, I, I keep yeah, like, bro, on. Just leave the... I can think of a couple people who I'm subscribed to them. I haven't clicked on one of their videos in years. I got so many. 
Yeah, but you know, that sub's still there. Yeah, yeah, that's just funny. But I mean, that's just some shit that like I felt I've yeah. seen some type like lately, so I'm like Yeah, I've seen some stuff like yeah. that too. I'm it, like, bro, it, yeah, it don't matter for real. It is what it is at the end of the day. It's Facts. just kinda like, damn, all right, I see you. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I feel that shit. Do you use TikTok? Uh I do. <laughs> you love that I question. Mean, <laughs> bro, TikTok is so important, though. It is. It, it is. It is. It's just sure. like you have to make specific videos. You have you to, don't. like, get the algorithm right. Bro, I'm telling you. Bro, I'm telling you. Uh, I'm TikTok a- will help your podcast so much. And I'm not just talking to you. Anybody listening, if you are a content creator of any form, get on TikTok. It's where the attention is. So as a content creator, you know, you want to be where the attention is. Yeah. It's the best place to advertise your shit. I promise you, bro. Yeah. I would not steer you wrong. Uh, I mean, bro, you're going to have to show me because honestly, like, I be making TikToks. Low-key, I should have been posting, like, all weekend. I just flopped on it. I, Bro, I've been seeing a lot of, like, traction on Instagram Reels. Instagram uh, Reels is doing a lot better. Yeah. They fixed their algorithm. Not as good as TikTok. A lot. Well, I agree. You're absolutely right. It's not as good as TikTok. But the algorithm that they have now is definitely a lot Bro, better. Bro, like on Instagram Reels, I've been, you know, it's not a lot. I've been getting like 250 with uh, Allen. I had about 1,000. Shout out Allen, bro. Yeah, That's shout out Alan. He was on our like, podcast too. Yeah. So Alan, shout out Alan. That's the dude. But man, I had like a thousand on TikTok. I was only getting like 50. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, bro, shit. you got to keep posting though. The thing about TikTok is, you and it may happen. Like, your first TikTok might blow up, but it's about consistency. Keep posting. Post more, post more, post more, post more. One of them will blow up. <laughs> One of them will catch. One of them will yeah. blow up. It's really just throwing out a wide net it's and seeing what it. you catch, bro. Yeah. The reason most of the listeners listening, most of y'all are probably listening from TikTok, bro. Yeah, TikTok's lit, bro. Um, I see a lot of podcasts on there that I like, that I'm like, Me too. Damn, that's yeah, just funny. Yeah. I, I give them a follow for sure. Yeah, I, I follow a lot of TikToks I, uh, podcasts. I can't necessarily say like I've gone out of my way to listen to their shit or watch their shit, but I definitely see their shit on TikTok. And I'm like, that shit's interesting. But... It's like I don't know, man. I I don't want to trash anybody's like shit, but no, yeah, no, it, it, it's not trashing. I do yeah, know what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah, it's just one of those things like it's clickbait. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's interesting clickbait. So you watch it, and then the topic finishes, and you're like, "This is okay, the most uh, interesting clickbait." Yeah, it's like it was interesting. Let me move on though, because that topic was what I wanted to hear. Right and now, I'm gonna move on. You know, but like. With shit like yours or mine, right? Like, mine is a whole interview on an artist. Yeah. Like, one specific thing we talk about, like, is only one part of their story, you know? Whereas, uh, some shit like that, where it's, like, friends just fucking around, like, talking, like, it's it's just stories, you know? Like, funny-ass stories, which is cool, um, but it's not necessarily, like, telling, you know, it's, it's giving one piece of the picture you know just like you were talking yeah. about it's one part of who you are it's not necessarily the complete picture and that's one thing that i've learned about tiktok and one thing that i've had to do specifically with my tiktok there's a couple of different ways you can go about tiktok and social media in general some people will follow your page for a certain thing so they'll follow your page because of this conversation or because they make clickbaity content or whatever. And that's going to grow fast. What's going to grow a little bit slower, but help you in the long run, is if people are following your page for you. And that's going to take a lot more time and effort. Uh, statistics say for content like that, people are going to have to see it 12 times mm-hmm. before they actually go and look at some shit. So you're going to have to post more content, but... Those people are going to be more loyal and they're going to stay longer because they're actually getting something. And those are the people you can have your clickbaity content, whatever, cool on TikTok. Those people are probably going to stay on TikTok. What you want is for people to come with you to YouTube or Twitch or wherever you choose to go. If you move to a new platform, you want those people to move with you. I'm confident that 
if for whatever reason we stop using YouTube or Apple or whatever and were to move to a new platform, we would keep a good person. Obviously, we would lose some people, but we would keep a good percentage of our base because we've taken the time to actually grow that organic connection and make that organic engagement instead of just this topic's hot. Boom. Let's have a conversation about how trash women are and, you know, let's rate some women. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what... And that's not speaking to anybody specifically, but, you know, some podcasts be like, men versus women. Why do men do this? Why do women do this? You know, or are they just like, just the shit that's going to get outrage in the comments? That shit don't work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that. so what? Like, we we even have a video um, where we were talking, it was our honest opinion, we were talking about a, a anime movie, and it was a super popular anime movie, but we didn't like it. Mm. That was one of our most viewed pieces of content, but nobody stayed. They came yeah. to say, fuck your opinion. Y'all are stupid. <laughs> and we got hella clicks and hella views. But so what? Nobody subscribed. Nobody followed. Nobody yeah. nobody cared. They were just there because they were hating. Like, a lot of people make this hate content now. They make this hate content because, like, Dude, it get a lot of engagement at first. It, you'll get engagement off of it. People will look at it and they'll be like, yo, y'all are stupid. This is dumb. Or you'll get those, those, uh. Weird people are like, y'all are oh, right. Y'all right. Yeah. Those people are scary. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, you're not actually getting anything in the long run from that. Like, I'm here for the long run. I'm not here for I I, I want to pot for the rest of my life. You know, I want to be able to do this as my main source of income. I wanna do, I do this for fun, you know. Like I say I'm changing life by sitting on the couch talking to my friends. That's important to me. I'm not here just to talk about a hot topic for this week and then fade away forever yeah um man that's really like my podcast bro i i genuinely believe that what i talk about somebody has felt at one point you know um toxic relationships we've all been through a fucking toxic relationship um time heals all wounds at that time i genuinely was like coming out of that shit where i was like time heals all wounds you know Um, right Big Sean said it in a song, you know, Bryson Taylor said it in a song. Bro, I fucking love Big Sean. Big Sean's Man, legit, you my guy bro. now. Nah, we, <laughs> we homies now. That Shit. We miss, but whatever. Yeah, nah, nah, we homies now. Big, Big Sean's legit. Uh, Let's go. That song, my favorite song from him, it's Living Single. I love living single. Fucking, That's my shit. That is a good one. Because of the different perspectives it offers, you know? Right. Um, he talks about him, his homie. Him, his homie, Henry. Mm-hmm. Man. Shout out Henry, I, man. I'm like, why? I can't say the word, but <laughs> I'm like, why? You know? Yeah. And it's like, um, you know, fuck, man. I could fucking spit it bar for bar, and it's like, uh, he's the goat, you're man. You're supposed to be, to be with, with her longer than your ass been alive. alive. I'm like, ah, like, uh, <laughs> fuck it. We about yeah. to do therapy. Shit. Yeah, you Bro, spitting. great song, man. I absolutely love Big Sean and his music, and... One of the reasons why I tell people that Big Sean is my favorite artist is because his music has grown with me. I started listening to Big Sean in seventh grade when he was talking about shit seventh graders just talk about fucking bitches getting money, blah, blah, blah. Ass. You know what I'm saying? Like ass, you know, ass, ass. You know what I'm saying? But then as time goes on, you get the one man can change the world. You get the single again. You get the, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just get all the, I why would I stop? That. Bounce and back. That's the Bounce funny, back, you know? That's the funniest shit is because I seen that shit on Twitter where people are like, you know why people hate on Big Sean? It's because he's fucking, he, he's a role player when he was built up to be a superstar, which is true. Like, yeah. Uh, Big Sean, no offense to Big Sean, shout out Big Sean, but like, he never... To me personally, he never lived up to his hype. Like, bro, he came out with on fucking Kanye's label, bro. Right. And I think what was his biggest song? I don't fuck with you. Yeah. And yeah, that shit was huge. But what did he follow it up with? You know, bounce back. He followed it up with. Um, and the shit that he talks about now is more conscious. Like, like I said, living single, bro. He's like the closest thing I had to that came in at four a.m. at it. It came in at four a.m. Fuck, the closest... You're going to have to edit this. The closest, <laughs> the closest thing I had to that came in at 4 a.m. and left at 8 for work, and I'm the reason we ain't made it work. That's, That's what, what make it, it worse. Yeah. Damn. Fire, bro. Like, those bars are crazy. And I feel like the reason that Big Sean um, doesn't get the shine that he deserves is because of that Hall of Fame album. 
is because... Oh, yeah. That shit was trash. I, it, okay. I'm not going to say it was trash. That shit was trash. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say it was trash. But the same time he dropped Hall of Fame was when J. Cole dropped 2014 Forest Hills Drive, was when Kendrick dropped. I believe that would have been To Pimp a Butterfly. You know what I'm saying? Like that Was that 2014? Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame dropped 2014, yeah. No fucking way, dude. Yeah. 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 Exactly. It might have been 2013. Uh, like I summer of twenty thirteen. No, no, you're right. I was a summer I was a freshman. I was a freshman in high school. Dang, summer but, so big song wrong. No chill. <laughs> Crazy. But, either way, that was his sophomore album, and when that had like, it kind of fucked up the the shit because. Everybody took a bunch of steps ahead with their first album, J. Cole, Kendrick, and Big Sean, because those those were all artists who were in the same pocket at the time. Their first album, everybody loved. Second album, two of them were loved. Big Sean's wasn't so much. So he's kind of just been playing catch up from now, because don't get me wrong, Dark Sky Paradise is my favorite album of all time. Really? My favorite album of all time. But he was already a step behind because of Hall of Fame, you know what I'm saying? And because of that, like, he just kind of lost in the conversation and started getting pushed further and further down, and you know what it is. I think, overall, Big Sean has good singles. As far as albums, I can't necessarily you don't say... You like I Dark Sky Paradise? You know what's my favorite album from him? It's not that one. It's um the one after that. I Decided. I Decided. I decided. Love, I, I Decided. And, man, I just love watching Big Sean interviews. Bro, I'm telling you, like, I love watching interviews. That's... The second reason I created a podcast, right. bro. I fucking watch Ebro in the morning, like, every fucking day right. back in 7th, 8th, freshman year. Like, Facts. I was watching that shit because I loved learning about artists and why they're making the music they make. Right. And uh, if you watch the Drink Champs episode, I'm sure you have with of Big course, Sean. Bro, and of course. They ask him, like, all right, tell us where you were at during While this time. While you were making of, these albums, yes. yeah. And I decided, he said, I had a dream where I woke up, where I was dreaming and oh, I lived oh, my man. life. Yeah. And I look back and I'm getting chills talking about it, bro. And That's it's like, fire. bro, imagine that shit. Wake, like having a dream that you lived your whole life. Like that shit's fucking sad. So when on the album cover, it's literally two of him. Like, yeah. And it's a concept album. It's him, even the um, the the way it starts and finishes. You know, uh, I don't. A lot of people miss it, but the skit in the beginning is him as an old man working in a factory, mm. and he's like, like he fucked his whole life up. And then it starts with him going back in time, and even at the end, where it sounds like Morgan Freeman. I don't know who the old man is, but it's like it's all about living in the moment. Yeah, period. Like that's hmm. really what I the actually shit. did not know that. A that's lot of crazy. people miss yeah. that shit, bro. I had to tell my homie Jacob that shit back in. 2017 when the album came out because a lot of people didn't even get the concept that shit was so deep that shit man i love that album i hated 2017 the year so it's hard for me to listen 2017 to... was one of my favorite years man. bro i hate that year <laughs> that's the year i graduated that's school. that's the worst year ever so Not and bad. that's worse than 2021 and that 2021 yeah. <laughs> yeah. was pretty good for me actually yeah it was actually kind of beneficial for me personally yeah. listen 2021 was not a bad year for me a lot of bad shit happened in 2021. Yeah. Right. But man, I like I've talked about how weird it is for me because not to get all dark and sad, yeah, but like it, my fucking my first grandma passed away from COVID in January. Damn, rest in peace, man. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, thank you. Um, February, no, that same month, like bro, a week later, we find out my other grandma has cancer. Wow. So she passes away in June. Then we have a close family friend pass away literally like two weeks later. So Man, that's a lot to do yeah, with that one time. It, yeah. it was a lot going on, and uh, but a lot of good shit happened for me. Right. You know, I started the podcast. I met so many different people that I never thought I would have met. I graduated college. Like, shit like that, bro. Like, I'm one that believes, like, for all the bad that happens, enough good happens. You know, Facts. when one door closes, another one opens. So... But yeah, 2017 was a shitty ass year. Uh, so when I go back and listen to that album, it's kind of tough. Uh, but yeah, I love that album, especially you know he's I don't know the name of the song, um, but you know he says all that shit you told me, I believe. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> he and his <laughs> fuck. Knew. All that shit you told me, I believe. Mm. The smile on your face. Oh, yeah. 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 oh my god, I literally know that song. Uh, now you back inside my life. life. This shit is going to kill me. <laughs> I think it starts with an O. Said it right. 
Oh my yeah. god, this shit is going you to kill so me. Fucking. I was like, line. I listened to shit probably like you, bro. a week or so ago. What year did the, you say that album? Twenty seventeen. Uh, I know this shit. I know this shit. I saw him that year at Lala. Too. Oh me, there we go. Yeah, Damn. Oh me, that shit. Crazy story. I was gonna see that, bro. I w- I was working that summer, right? Hard ass manual labor in the yard type work. I just got off of work. My homie hit my line like, yo, you trying to slide the Lala today? That he shit. said, I got an extra ticket for, I think he said like $90. I had the money kind of. I, may- I might have had $100 at the time. And I was like, bro, I just got off of work. I don't even really feel like sliding. He was like, nah, bro, you should slide. I'm like, nah, bro, like I'm cool. Bro, if he would have told me Big Sean was on the lineup... Bro, I definitely I feel like would've either slid. way you were kind of wild. I would, bro. I was tired as fuck, and I had like a hundred dollars, and it was a ninety dollar ticket. I, it, I just play, wasn't trying to do he it. He played Mercy, don't like. Oh man, he went. Crazy. Andy, uh, preview, go legend. Yeah, yeah, bro, he went crazy at that set. So I was like, Damn, I still haven't seen bro, Big Sean. That shit was so lit. You gotta he, do he, that. He, I haven't either. But how you the biggest Big Sean you fan? Feel me? I haven't met exactly. Heaven, you uh, feel me? Listen, I, I ain't man, seen bro. Big Sean, but the second he comes to Chicago. I'm buying the first ticket, bro. So, Omi and Halfway Off the Balcony, bro. Those I love were, Halfway, halfway Off the Balcony. balcony. You know, I'm hanging amazing. Halfway Off the Balcony. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, bro. That's my shit, Chemistry bro. means way more. Uh, and anatomy. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Chemistry, chemistry means, means way more than, more than anatomy. anatomy. She, she mad at me. She's been me. mad at yeah. me. Yeah. I'm the living. Yeah, bro. That shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. And, man, this one girl used to hate on me all the time because she's like... Bro, Big Sean's not even that good. I'm like, Hater. bro, Hater. Big Sean's <laughs> lit, bro. Especially his shit with Bryson Tiller, bro. Every song he does with Bryson Tiller, a hit, Facts, bro. Facts, bro. Fucking. On a B- Bryson Tiller's most recent album? My Come gosh. on, bro. He said, fucking, man, I got to pull up the lyrics. My bad, bro. No, bro, it's all good. It's all good. I wanted to ask you, who is your favorite artist of all time? Oh, man. It really... You you look like you're going to say J. Cole. I don't know. You're giving off a <laughs> J. Cole vibe. Um. I fuck with J. Cole, um, but I'm more like an R&B, hip-hop type person, bro. Okay, word. So really, like, Bryson Tiller, August Alsina, I fuck with them word. heavy. Um, August favorite of all time? Bro, Damn. August Alsina's lit, bro. August Alsina be spitting some real shit, bro. Damn. I wouldn't say... I can't say favorite of all time. I don't feel like his catalog's big enough to fucking say favorite of all time. Right. Yeah. Have you heard his fucking... This thing called Life album? Nah, bro. I have bro. not listened to a full August bro, album ever. You gotta listen to that shit, bro. This thing called Life. I might have to if you're a sad or... boy, sad boys for real. Sad boys for real. <laughs> uh, you gotta listen to that shit, bro. Where, like, okay, I might have to peep. I might it's have to fucking. Peep. Man, I'll I'll tell you right now. My bad. You got me looking at Bryson Tiller. Now you got me looking at <laughs> fucking August Alsina. But um, this is. My bad. That's all good. I'm gonna pull up the lyrics right now. I might have to. I might have to check out some August Alsina. Bro, you gotta check that shit out. You were listening to him before the whole him and Jada shit, bro. I've been listening to August Alsina since 2014, bro. Oh, yeah. So you a fan? I'm deep in there, bro. Okay. I seen him one time, bro. When he came with Usher, I was like 15, bro. Damn. I wish I would have gone to see him, but I saw him when he came his last tour, which was, bro. I wear that sweater all the time. If you see my episodes, I wear this. Sweater that says AA on it. Mm-hmm. That's because of August Alcina. Word. Um, but this lyric by Big Sean, uh, this shit hit for a second. Fuck, I can't find it. Hold up, who gonna leave who at this point? Friend, stop listening. Tease you. Don't believe you. Feel so out of character to play your role. Sometimes you gotta break your heart to save your soul. And that that's shit, hard, bro. Fire. That's hard. That, Fire. That shit be hitting me all the time, bro. Because I'm like, yeah. you know, when you're in those toxic relationships, you're like, damn. You know, you really got to cut off shit and to save yourself because nobody else is going to do it. Because right. that person that loves you only loves you for the comfort that you provide for them. Right. Yeah. They don't love you for who you are. Um, so really, you know, you got to save yourself. Uh, but I guess I'll see you, bro. Man. I'm gonna have to listen to some more of his you, shit. You pushed me into my specialty right now, bro. We got into Big Sean, got into August Alcino, bro. Hey, man, that's what we here shit. for, bro. That's so, what we here for. <laughs> so, Hollywood, I'm gonna like give you a rundown of the album and what my interpretations of the songs, right? Right. Um, Hollywood, you know, he says, because you say I'm Hollywood. They say I'm Hollywood. Um, you know, they're telling him he changed, you know, that right. he, he fucking 
he blew up and now he's different. But right. really, he's not different. He just realized he doesn't owe anybody shit. Facts. Um, yeah. Man, there's so many good ones. Would you know? Uh, would you know what to do with? Would you know what to do with it? He says, "Um, man, would you? St- I can't say the word. So right, right, <laughs> would you right. say it down? <laughs> would you say it down? Ah, uh, fuck, man. Hold on. I'm, I'm gonna have to listen. I'm gonna probably listen to some some August after this, though. Man, you are. Cause I ain't know. I didn't know I'm he was fire like side. that. Yeah. I didn't know he was fire like that. Yeah. I, but this is my favorite bar for it, right? Would you stay down for times get bad? Stick around. If I came home late, if I had a long day, would you lay me on a bed, go to town, tell the truth, baby? Would you be the one I need, baby? Could you take all of me if I call you? Are you down the ride? And that really, like, at the time it was hitting me because I'm like, damn, like, are you down? Are you really for right. it? Are you about it? And there's just so much, bro. Like, look at how far I've come. Like, I ref, bro, anytime I have a lyric block, because mm-hmm. I always reference lyrics. Right. I go to that album and I find, find something, some shit. right. You but gonna yeah. get something. That's what's up. Yeah. What's your favorite song of all time, then? My favorite artists and favorite songs. Favorite artists, bro. Uh, definitely Bryson Tiller, August Alsina. Uh, English, right? Spanish. Uh, it comes back to oh fuck. I'll mention that in a second. Okay, okay. Spanish. It comes down to like Aventura, Romeo Santos, Prince Royce. Uh, I do know Prince Royce. Okay, I do know Prince Royce. Um, He's the one that um, it's like yeah. What's that song called? Stand by one. me. Nah, something about yeah, a heart. Right? That's it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, bro. People will be like surprised I say Prince Royce because you know Prince Royce is like okay, but his last album Alter Ego. Uh, there's this one called Es Muy Tarde. My bad. I can't. I butcher Spanish, but um, it really talks about like, you know, for obviously a girl that you know it's too late. Um. All the shit you did to me, right? Like I moved on. I don't want to see a picture of you. Like I don't want anything, right? And at that time, I was going through some shit where it was like, yeah. man, fuck that shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely them. But what I was gonna mention is another Big Sean song, bro. Jack Harlow, that Jack Harlow and Big Sean Jack song. Harlow, Jack Crazy. Harlow is one of his bro, favorite artists, no. bro. Hold on, I gotta pull up that lyric. Jack Harlow and Big Sean went. Wait, how's the verse start? I could rap the whole thing if I'm you trying, give me the yeah, first I'm couple like, what, lyrics. What's the, what's from the name way of out, bro. Yeah. From way out. Way out, yeah. I, I know the verse, I just need the first couple of lyrics. So and that fucking, shit what's it called? When I heard this song, bro, I had just done my episode. It's called. Um, Did It Even Matter? Right. Um, so did it even matter was influenced from this relationship that I had where it wasn't really a relationship. It was like somebody I had talked to for like a month or two. Right. And, uh, we, you know, I fucked up shit. Right. Um, we stopped talking and I had seen them and, but it was kind of like awkward mm-hmm. and it's like, you know, should the situation even matter if like you completely cut me off? Like, why can't we be cool? Right. Like, to me, it was one of those situations. Sorry, I complicated it more than it had to be. Yeah. But it was like, you know, when you care about someone a lot more than some, than you cared about them. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've ever had that. Uh, I've only ever had one girlfriend. Actually, okay. Which you is might, crazy. You? A little bit. A little bit. Are you more the player than him? <laughs> I have. Do you got a girl right now? No, so I don't no, expose your ass? No. Okay. So you shouldn't care. <laughs> okay. So there's always, you know, in a relationship, you always care. Like one person cares more, right? Yeah. You've definitely had that relationship where it's like you like them, but like they like you more. Yeah. And it's been the same way around where you've really liked somebody and they were like, eh, okay. You know? So did it even matter was really influenced from like, you know, did it really even matter? Because we didn't feel the same way at right. that yeah, level, I right? That. So the so- the lyric was... I think I know what lyric you're going with. Just like the girls who got my name tatted and covered, covered up, up. I know deep down under the surface it's, it's still yeah, there. there. That Bro. Fire. Yeah. Oh, wait. I fucking mixed, missed it. I missed it. My bad. You didn't have to add it. <laughs> uh, my ex treat me like I ain't there what happened to the, the feelings, feelings and love that we still yeah, share yeah. just like the girls who got my name tatted and covered up I know deep down under, under the surface it's still there yeah. so man yeah my ex treat me like I ain't there and I was like oh, that shit hit that that's hit. why Big Sean fired cause 
He don't even he, relate to half the lyrics. Other than like, <laughs> bro, do not get me wrong. I don't do that. Do not get me wrong. Other than living single, you won't be bro, living that. His ass, <laughs> his ass is Henry, bro. <laughs> he, I he, am ma- Henry, he married though. at twenty four. I am bro. Henry, though. Twenty four. No, that's a fact, though. Me and my girl been together for five years. <laughs> he married at twenty four. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> now, me and my girl been together five years. It's been it's been good, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, I ain't had sad boy moments. Come on, man. You a sad boy for real though. Like you, sad you a sad boy for, for real. real bro. You kind of remind me of my homie Alchi. Shout out Alchi, bro. bro Alchi. I say that shit in every episode. Sad boys for real. You and my homie Alchi would get along. Oh, he a sad boy for his name is Alchi. Yeah. If that if that tells you anything. <laughs> Alchi, no, bro. My fucking so originally like my fr- one of my friends, like close friend, um, she's dating uh my line bro you guys might know what that is you might not fraternity shit right um so uh she used to think i was a fuck boy i don't know why uh and and then she like actually met me and she's like you're not a fuck boy you're a sad boy and i'm like i can see it from the aesthetic you know what i'm saying fraternity like i I I feel like people automatically assume fraternity people are fuck boys boys, i mean that's that's this a big is, stereotype. This is this is the first time I really mentioned it on camera. Like, I oh, really? I don't talk about it at oh, okay. all when it comes to my podcast. So you might want to cut it out if you can. <laughs> but you know, um, yeah, bro, I'm pr- I'm pretty conscious about like mentioning that shit. Why? Um, just you know, you enter different phases of your life, different chapters, so right. you move on to new shit. I feel that. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's it's definitely like relationships you build. But at the end of the day, like, it's not who you are anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, you definitely move on to new shit. And Sad Boys For Real, Sad Boy Radio is a whole different entity. Right. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. That's what's up. Damn, that's lit, man. That's lit. Um, So I got to ask, you a sad boy. You fuck with Juice, right? Uh, Juice World's cool. Yeah, I fuck with him. I that didn't sound like I, I would, yeah, I would, I would, I would, No, I fuck with Juice. I, 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 I wouldn't really him. say, like, I'm the biggest fan, right? Like, right, I definitely, okay. like... I definitely had my moments with him, but right. not necessarily like wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, I'm the biggest fan, you know. I'm in my black bands doing cocaine with yeah, shit right. like like shit was catchy. Um what else? I've been living fast, fast, like shit like that, bro. Fires like I, I do like his music. All it's girls just, are the same. All if you a sad boy, uh, all girls yeah, gotta say it's gotta know, hit yeah. for you, bro. You gotta have it's that. gotta hit for you. I admit it. Another one <laughs> got me. me. That it was, shit have broke you. Broke my heart. Yeah, that yeah, should have had you yeah. feeling different, yeah, man. Yeah, I forgot about that song. Right, yeah, bro. I mean, Juice World definitely be hitting, but who's your go-to sad boy rapper? I know you told us about the R and B. Who your go-to sad boy rapper though? Go-to sad boy rapper, bro. Drake. Drake, Ooh, bro. Drake, that's a your go-to sad boy rapper. Drake is a sad boy. He used to be he, a sad boy rapper. Like, not really like anymore. OG. But Marvin's room, Marvin's room. That should have take different. you to tears, bro. Not even just Marvin's room. Like his fucking his first album or mixtape, whatever you want to um, call it. Fuck. Why am I forgetting what it's called? Um, where he's walking. Comeback season. You talking about? Or nah. it was before that actually. Nah. Um. Oh my like, god! I keep I'm having a pl- familiar with the one the Houston, Atlanta, Vegas is on. Um, that's so far gone. That's his first mixtape. So, oh, you're talking about his first album? Yeah, first album. That's Take Care, I believe. T- yeah. th- no, Thank Me Later. You're right. Yeah, Thank yeah. Me Later, bro. I mean, you could thank me now. Uh, <laughs> fucking. Oh, you fancy, huh? Uh, over fucking. Show me a good time, like shit like that, yeah. bro. Um. And shut it, not shut, shut it, it down. down. Um, I love that one. It's light up, bro. That's another good one. My favorite, 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 bro, because, uh, you know, I'll give you the lyric. You're going to know it. I keep thinking how young can you die from old age. They always tell me nobody's working as hard as you. And even though I laugh it off, man, it's probably true. Because while I'm all, all of my friends out partying i'm just here making all the music that they party to like bro bars that's a bar bro bars like you said 12 hours a week bro fucking hard work that's really the lifestyle though yeah it is 12 hours a week is just the editing you know what i'm saying yeah i like how you understand what goes into podcasting beyond editing you gotta network Mm. Promotion, promotion even planning beforehand the setup of the actual podcast you're never 
not thinking podcast wise. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could be watching a TV show and some shit will click and I'll be like, oh shit, this would be fun to talk about on the pod. You know, like your podcast brain is always moving. Yeah, it's definitely changed the way I listen to music, bro. Like, I don't feel like I listen to music for fun anymore. Um, and it's, I can understand it's that. like, it's like good and it's kind of sad because it's not like I can always just sit down and let the music hit me and let it f- like feel right. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the times I'm looking for something the like, how did that affect me? You know, um, Maluma, uh, you, how versed are you guys in like Spanish music? Bro. I think I know Maluma. Not much. So I know a lot of it. So I don't know. I uh, work in Melrose Park. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot of Mexican homies and they yeah. play Spanish music yeah. on the speaker all day long. But I don't know the names. Like I could sing, uh, what's the one? Te Bote, whatever. Te Bote. No, I, that's why I shit. Bad Bunny. I yeah. be getting lit to that shit. Shout out my homie Andres. <laughs> but <laughs> fucking, um, yeah, Maluma, bro. Like Maluma be, um, he be sad boys for real, bro. And his song, So The Real, um, the song is really talking about, like, I can only call you when I'm drunk. I can't express how I feel to you when I'm sober, but I can do it when I'm drunk. Um, and that song was on my fucking Did It Even Matter episode because it's right. like, I can't talk to you, like, sober because I'm too, like, they just, it doesn't come out. The like, I can't, I, can't, I can't hit you up because I know it was me. It was on me, you know? Right. And... Yeah, I could probably do it when I'm drunk because I'm bold, liquid courage. But right. sober, it's like, you know, I know I fucked up, so I'm not even going to fucking bother you with that shit, you know? Right. Um, But yeah, uh, my bad. What was the question again? Uh, Bro, honestly, I be getting sidetracked too. I, what, I don't remember what the exact question was. We were talking about... Sad boy rapper. Oh, yeah, yeah favorite yeah. sad boy rapper. Yeah, so definitely probably Drake, bro. Drake, you know, 3.30, meet me by the beans shit type. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, that shit. That go crazy. Uh, I, I feel like Giveon kind of hit that, though. Yeah. Giveon but Drake was, went crazy, Giveon too, Giveon is what really put me in my feels. But there. Drake went crazy, too, though. We Drake, can't. We not going to forget. Truck to the plane. To, to come on, truck. man. To the hotel, hotel lobby. lobby. Me, I go through underground garage. Come on, man. Bro, fucking Drake just be having bars, bro, for no fucking reason. Facts. Um, honestly, I don't really, I can't really say that, you know, how many sad boy rappers really are there out there, you know? Uh, a lot. I feel like there's a There's a lot quantity. now. Give there's me, a lot Give me now. five right off the top of your head. All right, hold on. I got you. Juice, X, DC, um, oh, fuck. What? Sad nigga hours, sad nigga hours. Who, who is that? I don't know, is but that? I don't even want you to say it because that song was ass. Yeah, that's you gotta actually listen to it. You gotta <laughs> actually listen to it. It sounds it's terrible. Fuck, bro. That shit was ass. I ain't terrible. got no auto tune on the voice. Um, <laughs> but there, there's hella, bro. Bro, you just named. Four. I would say like OG trippy kind of. Bro, ones. you but got Peep. You Peep. got um. Bro, I listen to hella sad boy rappers in Kendrick how, and none right now. You know, yeah, I'm like I'm blank. Yeah, I, I got like, put on the spot, but I listen like to almost grade, exclusively so sad many. boy but rappers. But how relevant are those rappers now, bro? Like, I Pete, feel like some of them are still solid. Bro, yeah. Pete, Pete, when was the last time you heard as... someone talk about Peep? Oh, uh, my co-host actually loves Peep. He's not here, so okay. I listen to him. But, but the, uh, other sad, than him, but sad boy rap is like a big thing nowadays. Like sad boy, I don't know why I'm blanking on sad boy rappers because I love that shit. But, I feel um, like I could definitely think of so many. I don't know. Yeah, why sad boy I'm rap thinking. is kind of my shit. I feel yeah. like sad boy yeah. rap has definitely died down, bro. I like, think it did die down. Uh, oh, it definitely I, it died I, down. I think yeah. that might be a hot take, but I think sad boy rap has died down. Like, bro, I didn't listen to Juice and X when they were fucking alive. Holiday, oh, see, you know, Holiday, super sad so boy sad. rapper. That's crazy because no, I, I was know. just listening to Holiday an hour ago. Me too. He just dropped the uh, EP. <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. We'll talk about that on the podcast. So yeah. my thing is, bro. Really, I've been listening. I listen. I'm a fan of the artist I fucking interview, bro. Right. Uh, Nico Supremo. So I don't know how to, to pronounce it correctly exactly because oh, be he's, he's Hispanic, so it's right. it could be Nico Su- Supremo, Nico Supremo, uh, Abel. Uh, Adam Martinez, Mia Alva, ATO, you Shout know, ATO. Alan the official. Yeah. Like, bro, ATO, bro, feelings, no home in the ruins, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> he said, maybe, maybe sometime it'll be different. Maybe we'll meet under some different stars. Well, maybe there's some shit we're, we're, that we're not made for, you know, like. Yeah, bro. ATO um, is fire. 
Man, hold on. My bad, bro. Bro, I, nah, it's good, I, bro. I keep cutting you off to pull up bro, Brent Fires, bro. Like, Brent Fires. I used to listen Brent to Fires. Usher a lot when I was younger, bro. I never really got like. Too I was heavy never into in my Usher, Usher bag. Yeah. yeah, I was never in my Usher bag, bro. So, you guys have heard this one, right? Yeah, bro. I yeah, hell yeah. Feel the same way as me. When it comes down to uh, I've I've actually like been in the Don't studio with anymore. Alan before, like. That guy is talented. That like he can freestyle his ass off. He can sing. He can sing for and real. He can like, sing, yeah. Don't know anymore what happened between us. So it's time to go. Like, yeah, bro. He can yeah, bro, he's good at that he's shit. He's just a versatile dude overall. Yeah. He that shit made me want to cry when I heard that shit. Yeah, no bro. Uh, give me a sign is my shit, bro. Oh, I love Give Me a Sign by Alan. Yeah. Alan oh, Alan's lit, bro. Um mm-hmm. Shout out him, like we keep saying that, but yeah, bro. No, that's that's my guy for real. And I can give you some more artists um to interview on your shit too, because like I know a lot of artists and shit in the Chicago area. So if you're ever looking for extras, yeah, uh, guests and shit, I got you. Chicago's so small when it comes to creatives, bro. Like everybody knows everybody, and yeah. it's fact. It'd be crazy, bro, because like right now, you know, God bless. Like I'm booked through March, bro. That's fire. Like. We are fucking booked, and I already, you know, are, am talking to people about booking them for April, so right. to be able to do that, it's like, I appreciate those people for putting that down in their calendar, and I appreciate them for just responding, you know, sometimes... Yeah. I, I don't know if you've had this issue, but, you know, sometimes you don't even get a response. Facts. Yeah, that's and, happened before. And that's, Definitely. that's cool, bro. I, you know, if you don't want to respond, cool, you know? Um, my thing is, you know, at least a response, you know, at least yeah. say, you know what, I'm not interested. Um, uh, that would be appreciated, but it is just what a it basic is. sign of respect. There have been yeah. times where some shit has got lost in my inbox too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Like that's never happened before, but I do try to hit them up when I find it. But sometimes it'd be like two months later and I'm like, it would almost be disrespectful to say some shit. So I just be like, yeah, oh. but sometimes like they just leave your shit on red and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah bro, that's about this. I won't do that. Like, yeah, nah, if, if I don't respond to your shit, it's probably because I didn't see it. Cause I do get a lot of DMS a day. Just, you know, podcast listeners just collect. like, I'm not going to like lie like I'm famous. Or no yeah. Shit, but you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes she'd be getting lost in the DMS. No, especially bro. Like being on social media is a job, bro. Like what, when That's we just a job. when we say this podcasting shit never ends, like it never ends, bro. Like I get fucking tired of being on my phone, bro. How many like, times you gotta open your social media a day? Actually, wait, I'm gonna ask you two questions. How many times do you open social media a day? And how many times are you opening it for enjoyment? Because you know most of the time you're opening it for work. Yeah. I mean, definitely, bro. Like I really don't think I like open it. For enjoyment, I open it out of boredom. Um, True. You know, I just started working in a school, so I really don't even have that much time. Right. Uh, the only time I really have is when I'm at work at home. Mm-hmm. But I be tired as fuck. Like I work with kids now, bro. Like, I, what do you do? If you don't I'm a substitute asking. teacher now. Oh, that's kind of fire. So, huh? Yeah. So that that's one reason I love it, bro. Like I'm out by three o'clock. Right. So when most people are still like in the middle of their work day, like right. I'm getting off. I was working at T-Mobile before I was getting out at seven 30. So I literally yeah. got four more hours to my day, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, now I just be tired as fuck. Like I'd be going to bed at like 10 30 type shit. I feel that. Um, but yeah, to answer the question, like I really don't be like scrolling to like people's shit. Um, you know, really, bro, I'm telling you, I'm a fan of the artists that I interview. So when I'm on social media, I'm DMing them. I'm fucking liking their shit. Exactly, I'm sharing yeah. their shit. Like, I I guess that's enjoyment, right? Like, I enjoy doing that for people. But other right. than that, like, I don't go out of my way to go, like, like if I see my friends post, like, I don't like that shit. 100%. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I feel that. A lot of the times that, a lot of the time that I spend on social media, even, like, when I'm here working at the studio, a lot of time that is on my phone, whether I'm, on TikTok responding to comments or on Instagram posting new videos or responding to DMs or finding even people to network with. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, that's I normally use Instagram for that because it's kind of tough to do that on TikTok. Instagram is a little easier to find people in the area. <laughs> How'd you come across my shit? Uh, Instagram. Instagram. Like, it just popped up on your Explore page or what? Nah, I was searching for people to collab with. Okay. And I think I searched... 
probably the hashtag like Chicago podcast or something okay, like that. For sure. And I saw yours and I the logo was what caught my eye. And I was like, yo, this logo hard. Yeah. And then I clicked it and I was scrolling through and I was like, oh shit, like y'all fuck with the same shit we do. Y'all are hip hop content. So then I watched an episode and I was like, oh shit, this is this is decent. Like I, I enjoyed watching. And I was like, I could definitely see a collab happening. Yeah. And then I uh hit your line and then I didn't even for whatever reason, I normally the first thing I do when I look at an Instagram page is see if we have any followers in common. For whatever reason, I either hadn't done that or you hadn't collabed with Alan yet. Because no. I hit you up like a couple weeks ago. Bro, you hit me up like a month ago. So yeah. yeah, I mean, like I told you, bro, we just literally been booked. So like, and that's the other thing. Like, I don't want artists to feel like I'm bullshitting them when I say like, our schedule is packed, bro. Like facts, bro. I literally like have someone lined up for each week. Yeah. So it's like, no, I'm not bullshitting you. I really wish that I can get to our interview a little quicker, but you know, it's not just me. You know, it's my partner. Like exactly when he's available and the day he gives me, that's when I can record. And I'm not trying to overwork him. You know, it's not, facts. Yeah. It's a partnership. It's not like. I'm paying somebody to record me. You right. know, if I'm paying somebody to record me, that's different because they're making money off of it. Like right. yeah. my boy is doing it because, you know, For we're, the love. In, we're in business together now too, yeah. you know? So uh, definitely like that's love. Um, so yeah, definitely. I appreciate you reaching out. Bro, bro. 100%. That, that shit was, I, you know, I, I, I don't normally get reached out to. Right. You know, it's yeah. me doing the reaching out too. So. The first time someone reached out to me, I was like, damn, like, someone actually gives a fuck enough about my content to hit me up. That's yeah, fire. especially, like, someone that likes the shit, you know? Because I, I do get, like, uh, just like you said, people that want to collaborate, and they're like, let's collaborate, or can you do an interview on me because so-and-so, right? Right. Uh, yeah, and, that gets kind of frustrating, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and it's like... It's like Alan told me, you know, show me you're as passionate about what you do as I am as passionate about what I do. Yep. Because, bro, like fucking Malcolm said, bro, like this is an everyday thing that I go through. This is not just, okay, Wednesday I record, Friday I drop. Like, right. I, it takes a whole lot of fucking hours to edit. I say for every 10 minutes of an episode, you spend an hour editing. Damn near. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I've cut it down a little bit, but yeah, yeah. Uh, how, <laughs> Bro, our how, episodes be three hours long sometimes. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, how be how long would amount. you say it takes you to edit? Uh, <sighs> like an hour's worth of work. How many minutes would you say you get through? That's tough. It varies from episode to episode. We've had episodes that are easier than others, but on average, I would say every hour of the podcast is probably. About two, maybe two and a half hours of editing, depending on, depending on the episode. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. We've we don't we're not crazy edit heavy, so a lot of the shit we do is like even like mistakes and shit, like small mistakes. If there's some big shit, we'll edit. But like a lot of small mistakes, we'll leave it in because like I don't know we kind of like it and it kind of adds to the authenticity. Of and it, our you community know, like, likes to clown us a lot, bro. And that's also <laughs> part of it. Our podcast listeners are have become our friends so just like if your friend stutters in the middle of a sentence or fucks up a word and you like haha you you know like just clowning him on some homie shit it, it's part of it because first off we clown each other during the podcast yeah. i stuttered what was that last week and yeah, you were like on my ass week. bro yeah. <laughs> like you know what i'm saying yeah. shit like that happens so we like to leave that little shit in so we're not crazy edit heavy but it's still a lot of fucking work yeah. especially in bro Editing, like, the clips is where it really starts to get hard. Because, first off, we curse a lot in our episodes. Yeah. And whenever we say we the N-word, those have to get taken out on TikTok. You can't put the N-word on there. At all? But even though we're black, we have to take them off. What the <laughs> fuck? I, I could kind of understand it. I, I get it. But, like, damn, that shit is tough. Yeah. That's On a Instagram, we normally leave the curses and shit in. Because, yeah. well, nobody gives a fuck care. on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, and then you have to make clips for different platforms. Because our clips on Instagram... 
do not look like our clips on, t- on TikTok. The clips that we use for TikTok are not the same clips that we use for Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to find... You have to export it different ways. You have to export it different ways. Bro. The sizing is different. Because our Instagram clips are the regular 9 by 6... Or, uh, the 1080 by 1920. Exactly. Yeah. But then the TikTok ones are reversed. <laughs> it's 1920. 1920 by 1080. And, bro, different shit. Because you can't put... Um, on the Instagram clips, we have our logo in the bottom corner. On our TikTok clips... There's no logo on there. Plus, you got to edit out the certain words, fades, effects. All that shit is different. So, a regular episode, one, we record the episode. So, I'm here for that. Then, I edit the audio. So, now I've seen the same content two times. Then, I do the video. So, I've seen the content three times. Then, I do the clip. So, I've seen the content four times. So, for every episode, I've watched every episode damn near four times before y'all even see it once. Do you proof watch your shit? Um, that's really what the editing is, more or less. Like, oh, you mean watch back after I'm done yeah, editing? Yeah, Not so I, much. Sometimes I do. Like, I kind of go through it quickly. I don't watch the entire thing through, but I, I, I do quickly, more or less. Yeah, I be fucking up. Like, I need to start doing that because lately I've been fucking up. Big fuck-ups or, like, small fuck-ups? Because small fuck-ups don't matter as, as much as you think Like, a do. minute worth of fuck-up. Like... Uh, yeah, like, we don't really have, like, min- or if we, we have had minute worth of fuck-ups, but... Yeah. Most of the I time, we can catch them. Like, yeah. I'll fuck up by, you know, when you edit, uh, you gotta cut the clip and then delete it so that that camera's on this. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be fucking up by that. Like, I'll leave one camera on someone else while, like, one person's speaking. Uh, uh yeah. I'll yeah. tell you an easier way to do, or an easier way that I do it. What I do is... We have our main camera. We we have our camera A. And then that's just the first one. And then instead of cutting the clip, so on the tracks, track one, track two, track three, track four, the main camera will be on track two. And then I'll cut the clip and move it up to track one. So it'll be over it. So if for whatever reason I, I forget, it'll just switch back to camera A and nobody will notice anyway. Interesting. Yeah. Huh, maybe I'll have to. Yeah, I say just look that. into it. Everybody yeah. has their own editing techniques. I've watched another um, podcaster I know edit. I was just, you know, kicking it out of his crib. And I was like, oh shit, that's, I fuck with that. You know, and I, you know, you just adopt shit watching other people do work and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Podcasting's I mean, a tough job, man. Yeah. It's, it's not as easy as people think it is. People really think that we just sit in front of the podcast and uh, just vibe, and talk. which we do. But there's so much more that goes into Bro, it, Bro, when I started, I didn't know, like, I oh, literally either. bought a tiny-ass, like, camcorder, like, 200 bucks. Yeah. And no mics. Like, I was legit just... Oh, no mics? Like Damn. Right. Yeah, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, I had no clue, like... We started I, out with video. I mean, with audio, so we didn't even yeah. start with video. I just thought you were going to show up, fucking record, and that's it. Go you, home. You know, yeah. That, yeah. that's it. That's all I thought. I wasn't even going to edit that shit. Like, I was just going to toss that bitch on fucking... YouTube right. and call it a day. But yeah, man, this shit's crazy. Yeah, it's so much work, man. But I love it. I love every second of it. So even the parts that are difficult, I still love. They work out in the long run. You feel me? So I, I, I rock with it. I honestly couldn't ask for a better job. And I can't wait until this is my one and only job. Yeah. And we'll probably be putting out more. Like, because at the this point in time, we can only really do one episode a week because we have... Jobs, jobs and shit. And Once we don't have jobs, bro, I definitely do two podcasts a week. Even okay, three podcasts a week might be a lot. Yeah, that's but like a lot. Yeah. two pods a week, bro, we'll definitely give y'all two pods a week. Right now we're working on giving extra clips and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a grind, but it's even a this grind week we we've love. been able to record a lot of extra content. You feel me? I so. I love like being able to drop bars, bro. I love being able to drop bars, drop gems. Shout out Allen, like. Bro, when you're able to spit some knowledge and you're like, damn, that shit was fire. Like, let me run that shit back. You're like, especially during editing, bro, you'd be like, damn, I said that shit. Right. That shit was fire, bro. Because this shit's not even planned. Like, a lot of times I'll just say some shit. I'll be like, yo. Oh, that's why I was spitting right here. Yeah, <laughs> Somebody quoted me for a college paper. Uh, no, shit. That's they crazy. took that's a podcast up. quote and threw it in a college paper, bro. What if that's it was one fire. of the stupid quotes? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it, we were talking about the prison system, and I uh, guess I said something profound. And yeah, I said he, something profound. He put it in his college paper. I'm, I'm quoted in MLA format. 
Fuck with your boy. I'm out here. The, he, he's out here doing big things, bro. Right, you man. feel me? Yeah. I tell him you need to get paid next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, let me uh get a little bread off the side. That's but yeah, no. Nah, hopefully, we'll be getting enough bread to where we can just do this shit as our job, man. Most that would definitely, be yeah. Need that. Hell yeah. Who Working a job is not the move. Who you telling? I hate my job. I got to go into that shit so tomorrow. Much. What do you do? I work at Target. Oh, yeah. Fuck Target, bro. Who you telling? Bro, absolutely <laughs> fuck Target. I worked there for like three weeks. Which I Target? We're not even going to get into that, bro. But like, <laughs> fuck Target. I don't even want to give them the time of day. Nah, that's a fact. Where do you work at? I work at the movie theater down what? on Lake. Down on Lake, yeah. AMC? No, it's like the Lake Theater. Oh, I don't yeah. know what he's talking it's about. A, it's, it's right like here. a local, it's local in Chicago. Theater. Okay. I mean, I'm OP. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's decent. I mean, I, I actually hate it. But it gets the bills paid for right now. And it gives me the freedom to do this. Yeah. So a lot of jobs are very strict with the schedule. Target, I called off three times last week and nothing Damn. happened to me. So, it's crazy that your managers don't like listen to this and be like, oh, he's wild. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Uh, well, my manager that was the dopest ever got fired last week. Yeah. Damn. That's fucked so, up. Probably for letting you call out three times. Bro, nah, they just, they just assholes. <laughs> when so I was whatever. at T-Mobile, bro, I just made my own shit. Like, I only worked four days a week. They Fire. were 10-hour shifts, but Fuck I had that. weekends off and Wednesday off. So, literally, I'd work two days, be off, work two days, and then be off another two days. That's fine. So, That's yeah. Yeah, that shit was lit, but it was like... I don't know, man. Just issues, issues, and then got to move into something in my career. Like, I literally graduated with a bachelor's in psychology, bro. Like, I got to do some shit with it. You know, I can't right. be doing yeah. sales my whole life. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. Was there anything else you were trying to talk about? What you, what you, what shit, you got, what bro, you got going I mean, on, man? What other questions you got, bro? I'm kind of like, <laughs> I, I kind of like being asked shit. Bro, that shit's fun, man. Just being in the vibe and being able to, like, just sit and talk about shit you love yeah. is dope. You fuck with anime at all? Nah, bro. Nah. Dang, I'm gonna tell you right sleep, now, you're bro. sleep negative, bro. Let sleep. me let me ask why not. I, bro, I had someone mention anime on my shit. I had to cut that shit off. <laughs> what? You, so you're an anime hater? Yeah, I, bro, I do not fuck with that shit. Let me all. ask why though, because I used to be an anime hater too. Um, man, they just got some weird shit going on in there that you gotta watch. It, it depends on the anime. You gotta watch. It. I think all anime got some weird shit going. It's on not, in there. bro. It's not. They, I gotta say, it depends on the anime. They it's definitely not. all got some, bro. They all got some little type weird shit in there. It's At not, least bro. a tiny bit. I don't it's know. Not. I know a few anime that have like nothing weird in them. Yeah. I don't know, bro. But you guys know what I'm talking about. That you're I, like, I know. You're oh talking yeah, about I know fan exactly. Service, what but you like, mean. yeah, no, nah, that's not. Nah, yeah, definitely not my thing. Um, so all those people that were fucking with me up until now, <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. Don't forget to subscribe to Sad Boy Radio. But man, um, <laughs> it, it's like that, bro. Like I got my my homie Ouchie. He's actually an anime Straight hater. Straight anime yeah, hater. Nah, bro. Honestly, Ouchie. like, who was I talking? Like when you guys were mentioning like. What you, my bad, I keep saying like a lot, but when you guys were mentioning how the podcast has evolved for you guys from just being a hip hop podcast to now you guys talk about different shit in your life. For me, I feel like music is my life. Mm -hmm. You know, Uh, when I was younger, I wanted to be a singer. When I got a little bit older, I wanted to be a producer. I realized the one I tell my people all the time, you know, the one thing I could have been really fucking good at was singing had I, like, been put in lessons, like, put in the right positions, right? Right. Um, and then producing, that's, that's like, a whole nother beast, bro. Yeah, So it is. You know, I found my way to be a creative, and it's through my brain, bro. I've always been pretty, you know, intellectual, I would say. Luckily, you know, I know how to talk to people, and... Literally just my passion for music, bro. My passion for music has allowed me to open up those conversations and literally talk about everyday life shit through lyrics, bro. Like, we just had how many different conversations through (laughs) Big Sean lyrics, August Alcina lyrics, Bryson Bryson Tiller Tiller lyrics, bro. Like, out of time, Bryson Tiller, uh, Maluma lyrics. You guys don't even know Spanish, bro. Right. Prince Royce, like <laughs> shit like that. So being able to really, you know, I even brought my own flavor to this today by right. being able to reference those lyrics. And man, I'm telling you, Alan, bro, like uh, I really have been listening to his shit a lot every single day. 
And that's because I love what he's saying and the way he's delivering it. Right. Because just like I said, you know, uh, the song, I hate that you don't feel the same way as me. Don't know anymore what happened between us. So it's time to go. Like, yeah. You don't know. Like, bro, I hate that. Like, he can't relate <laughs> to it, bro, because he's been in one relationship. Bro, but, like, there's not. So long. Just because I've only had one relationship does not mean that I have not had. How, how old are you? And such. I'm 23. 23. So yeah. since 18, bro, bro. Yeah. That is, yes, sir. You know how many yes, sir. times I've been heartbroken since 18? You know how many times? I'm time- not going to lie like I haven't, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, it, it's, it's been a bro, five-year relationship. Ain't easy, yeah, bro. Ain't, I promise you. Uh, cake, I, I promise. promise you no, I promise you, it's not easy. But like, I don't. know. But bro, Them being, it, being in a different. relationship and like going through those struggles together and finding a way to come back together, right? That's different than fucking. Then fuck you. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> done with your ass. It's cooked. Like I bro, see you we're again. done. Right. Like, like I said, bro. Uh, you know, Big Sean didn't get to feel that way just because he felt that way. You know, the closest thing I had to that came in at 4 a.m. and left for 8 at work. And I'm right. the reason we ain't made it work. Like, bro, I'm the reason we ain't made it work. Right. And that's for a reason. Because of what somebody else has done to me, bro. Right. Because of the way somebody else has made me feel, I cannot give you what you need. Fact. And that shit... Like, bro, for <laughs> real, bro. Different. Like that shit is different, uh, bro. Uh, any girl that be watching this and it's like, I should have listened to him when he said he can't do it. Like, bro, like, right. and that's everybody, bro. Like guys and girls, like they'll both they'll both go through that shit where right, yeah. they're they try to change the way someone thinks. Like a guy will try to get a girl to think this way, and. If a girl tells you like, nah, I ain't going, like they're not going. If a you know, if a guy tells a girl the same thing, like you're not gonna change their mind, bro. Right. So yeah. once somebody's ready, they're ready, you know. But that's yeah, true. That shit that shit's different. Yeah, man, bro. Like bro, life is crazy, man. And we're all still young, you know what I'm saying? Like you're twenty one, I'm twenty three, you're nineteen. Wait. You're nineteen? Yeah. Dang, you're young as hell. Yeah. This shit. I thought I was young. Sadly, bro. I've been through a lot of this shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought I was young it. as hell, bro. Like every everybody I meet, they be like they be like twenty four to twenty eight. Yeah. So but then they're like you're 21? I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, bro, I'm going to be 22 in March. I'm getting old. I'm like, that. Bro, I'm I feel old. like I'm getting old. Man. Yeah. I'm 23, and I know that's young, but I'll be like, damn, man. Like, I feel like I'm getting old in this bitch. I got to hurry up and make some shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Especially- it's fun being this young and like knowing that there's still stuff out there to do. Like A lot of people will come up to me and be like, damn, bro, you streaming and you on a podcast and like you actually doing shit. I'm like... Yeah, you know we go crazy out here. <laughs> he, he's like, yeah, my brother built this up. <laughs> I, I, just, I hopped on the wave. I'm just here. <laughs> I hopped on the wave, so like, I get to reap the benefits. Hell yeah, yeah. Hey, shit, you be putting work in too, though. That's the thing. Like, yes, it's about putting in individual work. Like, if you got on the podcast and you was asked, I don't care that you're my brother. You gotta put in work to be a part of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you he can't said, you can't bring no ingredients and then expect to get a piece of the pie. He said, "I was gonna cut you off if you sucked the first episode, just so you." He would have. He definitely would have. <laughs> nah, not the first episode. Yeah, we all would've. asked our first episode. I went crazy my first episode. No, you did go crazy your first episode. But then actually. again, I had a lot of content. I just came from Lala. Oh, yeah. you just came from Lala, yeah. and you you did a podcast before this podcast. True. Yeah. So mm. yeah, he had podcasting experience. My Man, first I had episode been of podcasting. For a lot. Yeah. That's true. And you listen to us and you already knew how shit went. So yeah. 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 I mean, bro, I'm telling you, our first episode literally on a couch, like didn't know shit. Like I'm gonna go back and watch your first episode. Bro, it's rough. It's a rough listen because I don't even know how to talk. Like it's I'm like, so tough for me to listen rough, to my dude. first episode. Yeah, I'm like, I will oh be like God. Yeah, uh, welcome to uh, Sad Boy Radio. Like, bro, like, that shit's rough. Just uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. uncomfortable as fuck my first episode. Uh, now it'd be like, welcome to Sad Boy Radio. I'm your host. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, you know? I'd be vibing now. It's easy. I could pot in my sleep if I wanted to. For real. Yeah. I need you to ask me some more questions, bro. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what, what other questions you got for me, bro? Bro, honestly, we can really talk about anything. Um, Shit. That's why. What? I, my oh, bad. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, no. 
this is why I write outlines. Like, my outlines, like, people fly through the questions, and sometimes they'll even answer the question before I even get to the question. Right, yeah. But, man, I just love being able to have those deep conversations. So any question you got for me, bro, like, I want to hear that shit. Yeah, one thing that we really like doing with our interviews is, like, we try to make it, like, less like an interview and more like a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like that is... That's where you really get the good shit, where you kind of just are going and you don't stop the flow. You know, mm-hmm. where it's just moving. You're like, oh shit, like we, I had no idea we was going to talk about this, but he fucks with this album. And I didn't even think we was going to talk about, like, I had no idea that you was a Big Sean fan. Yeah. Once you we find had things that connect. a whole yeah. conversation about Big Sean, and it's like, damn, that's the, that's the fun part, bro. Yeah. yeah. I mean, generally my questions really flow into the conversation, you know, uh, that's one thing I do focus on when writing outlines is like, okay, I ask this question, it's going to lead down to this topic, and then it's going to lead into this question. Yeah. So being able to do that, I think that it's definitely a skill, you know, being able Facts. to really guide the guide the conversation without guiding it, you know, yeah. with, without giving them that sense, like, damn, right. he's, he's yeah. about to hit me with some shit, you know? That's a fact. That's a <laughs> fact. One thing that I did want to ask you is, we talked about this a little bit off uh, camera before we started the episode, but... As far as podcasting goes, what would you say are the things that you don't have yet that you feel like you need to get? And that's like anything, whether that be part of a team or some knowledge or equipment or any like anything. If you could have those things, what are some things that you know that you need to get? Man, um, definitely equipment like... With my first drop, uh, this these were my first drops. So if you need them, I've been pointing at them. If you need them, <laughs> get at me. Uh, radio. With my first drop, I'm really gonna use the money to get a new computer. Uh, I mean, I'm not making like crazy profit off it, but right. you know, I already put money into the investment. Right. So you know, once that money's gone, it's like that money's gone. Like it doesn't matter where it's at. Even if it comes back, it's like. All right, I already seen my bank account without that money in it. Facts. I might as well just go use it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so definitely using that money to reinvest into a new desktop, bro. Like, I've been editing on a 2012 MacBook Pro. And luckily, like, it's the highest end, like, i7, like, right. high, high-end type shit. Uh, but I just know a desktop is going to be so much better, right. especially in, like, the new year. It's just going to work yeah. so much faster, uh, prevent crashes. Yeah. Pre- How long did it take you to faster. export an episode? <sighs> Bro, like, sometimes it takes me, like, 30 minutes. Sometimes it takes me five hours. On my old computer, I used to average about seven hours on the export. How much does it take you now? Uh, anywhere between 30 and an hour. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, bro, export, especially exporting videos, when I'm finishing at 5 in the morning and I gotta, you know, exactly. go to work yeah. at 6, like, that's not gonna work. There have been times where I came, I left here, and had to went to work, on. came back, and the shit still wasn't done exporting. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that shit. But yeah, definitely equipment. Um, I think that Man, you know, you just got to be blessed with a lot of shit. Like, I feel that. A lot of shit does have to go your way. Uh, the guests, you know, my guests are phenomenal. My guests really love the product as much as I do. Right. They all always say, like, man, I really love what you're doing. Like, you got some really good shit going on here. You know, keep, keep doing that shit. And I love that shit, bro. I love that people can relate to it and people connect to it and are vulnerable enough bro like you know facts yeah. you know how hard it is for you to hop on somewhere so with somebody you never met bro right. like i have never met half these people bro right like, it's yeah. my first time talking to them and they're just open it's really cool like going through like your episodes of instagram clips and seeing people that you don't know be that open with you and actually express feelings that Maybe that they've never even shared with other people. I always, I saw some of the clips that I like went through your Instagram and mm-hmm. saw. That was just really cool to me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and bro, I literally have an episode called "The Drugs Are Talking" and no one is listening. And I say that that is the first episode where you you guys have watched Soul, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I do need to finish it. So in Soul, you know how, you know, when he plays jazz, he's like, it's, you know, I get lost. Like, my soul gets lost and he gets transported into, like, the where all the souls go, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is literally how I felt when I was talking about that shit because it was, like, my eighth episode in. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I felt like nobody was listening, bro. Like, my views weren't doing, like, crazy numbers. Right. Uh. And, you know, when you first start, like, you see them go up, and then you see them drop and shit like that. So, and I was just going through a lot. Like, like I said, bro, all that shit that was happening in 2021, that was at the beginning. Yeah. And that is when I started the podcast. So, I'm like, man, nobody is listening because nobody has hit me up and said, you good, bro? Like, nobody has checked in with me, and it was like, you know, what's going on? Right. Yeah. So, yeah, man, just like... I I can literally spit bar for bar what I saw. I was like, I am eight episodes in and nobody has fucking hit me up. And I'm like, bro, like, not that it matters to me. Right. But it's like, damn, bro, like, when you're creative, you can say whatever you want in your media form. Right. And it will go over people's heads. That's a fact. Rappers, artists, singers, like, all of them have said... Juice World, for example, like he had his addiction and yeah. it flew over everybody's head because he was saying it in music. Yeah, that's the thing. Like a lot of people don't really like or even a lot of people don't even tune in. Like when you first podcast, there are a lot of people who say they listen to episodes and they haven't just to say to that episodes. they listened. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. I definitely know people who have been like, yo, I was fucking with that episode, bro. And I hit him with the this is my favorite thing. What what we talk about? Like what what part you fuck with, bro? The whole thing was fire. Yeah, but like, yeah, tell like me what specific? But what conversation though? Like what conversation really hit you? You know what conversation was you fuck with, bro? I one of my homies, one of my closest homies. Shout out, I'm gonna say his name. Shout out my homie Jacob. Love that nigga. Y'all know like or you know that's yeah, one of my best friends. He was like, yo, I'm really fucking with what you doing with the podcast. Like I love the episode. I was like, yo, what 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 episode? And he was like, the first one. I was like, damn, that's crazy. What we talk about? And he was like, I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't listening yet. And I was like, bro, it's cool. You know? Like, like, because, you know, it's one of my best friends in the world. And I'm like, it's cool. Like, it's not a big deal. But uh, I know he's not the only one that has done that. And I'm sure you've probably had the same I've run into the same people that have done the same thing. Like, damn, yeah, I listen to the podcast. And I'm like, oh, yeah, for real? What do we talk about? (laughs) My close homie, his name's Ralph. Shout out, Ralph, bro. His ass fucking... He be telling me, he's like, bro, honestly, like... What you talk about, I really don't relate to. So I just don't watch it. I'm like, that's cool, bro. You know, at least you're honest. Yeah, you know? that's perfectly yeah. fine. Uh, drop a like. You know, just go drop a like. That's yeah. all I really care yeah. about. You're not you know? any less of my friend if you yeah. don't listen to the podcast. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, just go drop a like, drop a sub. Like, Sometimes yeah. I will clown them if they act like they watched it, though. Yeah, don't but act I'm, like you watched uh, it. <laughs> yeah, then yeah. I'm going to clown you. And these girls, bro, there were two girls, right? One of them, they both said that they watched the shit. And I'm like really you be watching my shit and they're like yeah and i'm like tell me something from it and they bro they quoted that shit i was like damn (laughs) bro that shit is the best feeling ever when someone actually fucked with your shit yo i'm at summer smash bro i'm at summer smash i it's a per like i got recognized in public for the first and only time like he was a listener and i thought like he had just kind of seen some shit on tiktok or blah 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 i'm thinking he isn't actually a fan of the podcast. I was like, yeah, bro, like once I leave here, I'm gonna edit the new episode and post it. He said the episode number of the episode that was about to, I don't even remember. He was like, like one episode 126 about to drop. And I was like, bro, like you the goat, man. Like that's how I know you really fucking with my shit. If you know, there are some weeks I forget the episode number, goddamn. Yeah. And I'm like, you know that shit? You the goat, bro. I'll be forgetting that shit all the time, bro. Oh, yeah. Episode yeah. numbers, I'll be like, this episode, I'm like, I don't know what number it is, bro. I was forgetting, like, yeah. while I was recording, I'd be like, episode number, whatever, I don't care. We've definitely, like, just fuck up the episode number. <laughs> oh, like, it's tough to get podcast, it, like, before yeah. the episode, like, because, you know, I intro it, or I'm sure you, you, or most podcasts do, intro with the number in the beginning, I'd be like, yo, what's good, episode, blank, whatever it is. Sometimes I'd be forgetting, or i say the wrong number, so, yeah, it I is what it is. I stopped doing that, because a little secret, just for you people that might watch. We're like two hours in. You probably won't be this deep. But <laughs> just like I would use one episode. I would record one week, then record the next week. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes they would get flipped around. Ooh. So I had to stop saying the episode number. Yeah, for see, we don't purpose. we don't do that. Yeah. Like most of well, sometimes the interviews, 
we have some content some content that's evergreen that you know we could post whatever but a lot of our shit is kind of like time sensitive so like we'll be reviewing a new album or talking about a new episode or talk about some shit that happened in the media so a lot of times we are time sensitive but we do have some evergreen content like interviews and stuff like that where we can drop a week later two weeks later and it'll be perfectly fine yeah nah this shit slip bro I mean when we first started bro we had like our content was five weeks behind damn because damn. we recorded five and then started dropping just so that's we, a smart way yeah to do it, just yeah. so we had extra uh as time go- has gone on we've only had like one extra right and, i was just about to ask yeah. how many you got in the vault right now no nah, we i mean in the vault like the archives you know <laughs> should i ha- should i haven't used i got a couple that i haven't used you got some you haven't used that you might put out one day or those are just cooked I got like one in the vault that I might use one day. Right. Uh, other than that, like the shit that's in the vault was shit that was before we did our new setup. I feel so that. Yeah. It's like if you see it, it's gonna be like throwback Thursday type shit, you yeah. know. And I, I didn't like. No, nah, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not even gonna say that. Where? Nah. Okay. Shit. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah, but other than that, man, it's just a whole lot of. Thinking about everyday life, thinking about, you know, music. I mean, let me ask you guys something. <clears throat> um, I I guess this would be separate, right? So we'll we'll go one by one. For you, what's something that's really prevalent in your life right now that is impacting you like mentally? Oh man. As of right now, luckily, I'm in a super good space you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so impacting me mentally most things are positive thank god because obviously obviously i've had terrible times before and even like a couple weeks ago you know there's been negative shit Mm -hmm. but right now everything's kind of going up for me so just like the well-being of the podcast and just how well everything's going creatively that i'm working on is just super great and it really things going well kind of benefit as things go well, they kind of just make things go better, you know, and it makes me look at things with a new energy. Even when things go slightly a little bad, it's still like, damn, well, it's okay. Like things are, everything's moving forward, you know? Luckily, I don't have anything negative. So even to answer that question, I only really got positive shit right now, which is a great, great thing, you know? No, nah, yeah, definitely. What about you? I mean, I wouldn't really call it negative or positive. Yeah. I'm- it's kind of both depending on how you look at it, but I've been trying to focus a lot on time management, but that's almost impossible when you're working a job because they don't care about your time the way that they should. But it's been weighing on me a lot because I haven't been able to get like personal responsibilities done mm. very well. So I'm kind of trying to figure out a way to work on that. You're slowly sliding yourself out of the camera. Can you come back into the frame? <laughs> yeah. I was, I was <laughs> oh, yeah. just looking at that. To... I was like, damn, he's a little far yeah, out. Yeah, you, like, out. you just keep much... slowly sliding yourself. So, yeah. No, I feel yeah. that. I mean, bro, with jobs, it's legit crazy. Yeah. Um, luckily, you know, like I said, I'm blessed to have the job I have now. That's you know, fire. You can always get more money, I feel like. Facts. But I'm in that position right now where I do weigh, like, What do I need more, the money or the time? And eventually, one day, I will need the money more than I need my time, right? Right. But hopefully, by that time, I'm fucking making money off my craft rather than needing a job to sustain myself, you know? Being a substitute teacher, do you work every day? Because as a sub, you get to choose choose. what you take, right? Uh, Right now, I'm currently working at my old elementary school, so... That's fine. Yeah, yeah. the gym teacher's on paternity leave, so I'm there for a Fire. minute right now. Yeah, I, I'm just straight chilling, like just five That's minute lit. drive from my crib. I That's get, lit. I bro, I get an hour prep, which is basically a break because right. I'm a That's sub, lit. Yeah. and right. then I get another forty five minute break. Wow. So I legit spend an hour forty five minutes doing nothing. I can go That's home, fire. cook some shit. The only problem is like my first prep is at nine. So nothing's open. Right. Yeah. And then my second one's at 11, which is only the 45 minute one, which mm-hmm. is kind of hard to like go whip it, get the food, come back, eat, and then go right. teach, you know? True shit. Yeah. But yeah, man, I, other than that, it's just time management. That's something that I really did struggle with a lot when I was in school. Uh, that's why we were kind of 
I wouldn't say inconsistent, but mm-hmm. if we were posting, it would be every other week for right. sure. If not every week, it'd be every other week. Right. Um, What's the longest you've gone? Without posting? Yeah. It was two weeks, and that was only because we were doing the rebrand, and I wanted everything to be perfect. So I feel that. when I did the rebrand, we got the floodlights. Uh, we got the what the panel lights, the mm-hmm. LED panels. I had just redone my logo. So you did your logo yourself? No, my boy redid my logo. Cause I fuck with your logo. Yeah, right? yeah. Shout out him. I mean, he redid my logo, and yeah, we. He's the one that made it pretty, right? Mm-hmm. We had the idea, we had the concept, and everything that we wanted to go into it. Yeah. Uh, it was just really, you know, I needed that person to do their work on it, you know. Right. Yeah. Make um, it look professional. Yeah. So, you know, when it comes to, like, who designed the logo, uh, I would definitely say it was a combination of us both because Word. I I had it, like, drawn out, like, shout out him because this cross, this cross wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. Um, this SBR, it was, so if you see, it's a little slightly curved. Right. And that's... To make a sad face. Sad, yeah. 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 Originally, he had it straight. Mm-hmm. So it just looked weird. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, these X's for the eyes. That's that fine. I knew that's what I wanted. Um, this ear flapped like that. Right. Bro, you don't know how many times it took us to fucking get that ear flapped right. And I was so close to being like, fuck it, bro. Just leave just it Just leave it, it up. <laughs> yeah. But, um, nah, it, it worked out, man. I really, really like you guys' logo. Uh, thank you, bro. Yeah. That's fire. That was actually the thing that caught my eye while I was scrolling. I was like, damn, that, that's a fire. That's logo. Same here. I think that was like the first thing I thought when I started going through. Yeah, that shit, bro. Yeah, that shit. Man, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah shit, Definitely bro, money well spent. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I love the logo. I think it really embodies everything I am like, bro. Like the cross earring came from me wearing the cross right, earring. Right, yeah, was, I peeped the one on your that, on your ear. That was my boy Vic. My boy Could Vic was Could you try again? Shut up, Siri. Uh, <laughs> my boy Vic was like, Yo, I think it'd be dope if the bunny had a cross earring, you know, because you'd be wearing a cross earring. And I'm like, That shit's fire. That's let's throw fire, let's man. throw that in yeah. there. So uh, man, it really started from uh we threw a boat party in the summer on the summer of George. And on, yeah, on I, what? The Summer of George. I was wondering, do you mind asking? Oh, the Summer of George is like a cruise line. It's not oh. a cruise line, but... You know, I, I thought you was just like, like, that was the name of your... No, I thought you like named your homies? summers or some shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought right. was one of his homies. I thought I your know. homie was named this George. Is your he, summer. Was, he was like, yeah, bro, this is the Summer of George. <laughs> Next summer year it's going to be George. Summer of Malcolm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, the Summer of George is the tour boats like downtown on the river. Where okay. Uh, so yeah, we threw it on there and shit was... Shit was over lit, bro. You, That's fine. You want to know how I know it was over lit? Because you don't remember this. Because I don't remember the, <laughs> <laughs> the second half of the boat, bro. Damn. I fucking woke up and my boys were like, you fell asleep on the boat. I'm like, what do you mean I still fell asleep on the boat? They're like, you fell asleep on the boat. They show me the video. I'm, Damn. <laughs> I'm like, you're fucking lying, bro. Because I, I swore annoying. in my head. I remembered that whole thing, bro. And lit. I'm ca- I'm calling people the next morning. I'm like, what happened? And they're like, they give me each person's giving me a new story about what happened on the boat. Damn. And, and um, yeah, bro, I was I was gone. I was on a new level. And I told my boy, I was like, we were watching the videos. I'm like, damn, I wish I was there. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that's just crazy, man. That's lit. Yeah. Damn, summer email gonna be lit, right? I know, bro. So I'm, I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, yo, what am I gonna do for the summer email, bro? <laughs> summer is George is crazy. But That's yeah, lit. Yeah, bro. I really appreciate you guys having me on. Um, if you got any more questions, feel free to ask me. I'm like, bro, we could definitely collab again too, because yeah. this shit has definitely been fun as fuck. Like we, bro, when we find fun people to make content with, you know, do you do streaming or anything like that? Nah, I don't, bro. I, I mean, honestly, literally. definitely get into it, man. I say all podcasters streaming should like also what? stream. Video games? It doesn't have, have to be to just video, video games. games. It's kind of just like IG Live, but yeah. you're on Twitch and you can play a video game if you want. You can, you can do, do a just chatting stream. Yeah, you can mm. really just... You can talk about anything. They have sections for podcasts and they have sections for hip-hop and music, art, everything like that. Really? Yeah. I might have to take a look at it. Honestly, bro, I think that... 
it it is a lot of work, bro. And Facts. I don't want to push out content that is like kind of I don't know. Like I feel like when you're pushing out so much content, you gotta remember like what what is your actual goal, right? Facts. Because you guys are so expanded into so many different things. So you, like your streaming is like video games. I, I play video games, yeah. but it's mainly just a live podcast okay. damn near. It's it's basically just a live solo podcast where I'm also playing. I don't play anything serious. I'm not a gamer. Yeah. So. You, Mine you is guys. a little bit more serious when it comes to gaming. Like, okay. You play like competitive ranked type gaming stuff. Yeah, like I don't that. do none of that. Yeah. I play Minecraft or fucking <laughs> card games with my homies and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, like I play yeah. like ranked Apex, ranked yeah. Brawlhalla. Do yeah. 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 So yeah, I mean really, bro, it's like for me, um, I really do love the message that I try to spread where it comes to let's talk about everyday life problems and connect it back to those lyrics because, Facts. bro, I feel that shit so deeply, bro. I really do feel like my music and when it comes to Spanish music, especially like a lot of the music I listen to when it comes to Spanish music, it's sad boy music and I don't even understand Spanish like that, bro. So for me to f like feel connected to music that I don't understand the lyrics, what they're saying. Right. It's like, man, that takes Sad Boy to a new level. Yeah. You know, Sad Boy Radio, Sad Boy's for real. Uh, That's some new shit, yeah. The last song that I want to talk about, bro, it's this song called uh, Yo Quisiera Mala. And... Who's it by? Aventura. Word. So, I'll, I'll even pull up the lyrics, right? Because it's like... Man, I wish you could relate, bro. I really wish you could relate. <laughs> bro, I can relate. I like, really wish you could bro, relate. I can relate. You don't know heartbreak like that. Bro, that's really. not true. So <laughs> that's funny. So this song, he talks about, you know, how he wishes he could love somebody, you know, how they deserve to be loved. Right. And uh let me pull it up. Let me see. Damn, that's crazy. Man I said I cannot relate. You cannot, bro. You, said I'm you Henry. don't know. You're, you're, very, you're Henry, bro. Um, yeah, you got to work through shit. Yo, quisiera mala, como usted. Hold on, bro. I got to find the specific lyric. My bad, bro. Bro, it's all good. We, all good. we in this bitch vibing and cooling, man. This has, been, this has been a good ass episode. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Damn, I, I'm glad you guys are having fun because no, so you never know, bro. I be t I'll tell you guys after. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not trying to get caught up on camera. <laughs> no, nah, I feel you. I, I, I know where you're going with that. Yeah. I definitely know where you're going. And we feel the same. We've yeah. done the same thing no, before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, right here. Señorita, perdone por la ma mala ocasión por... Tron, Charlie, los sueños brevemente en el amor. No quiero lastimarla, nunca fue mi intención. Pero si no me expreso, va a empeorar, empeorar la situación. I caught maybe six of those words. Yeah, yeah. so I kind of butchered it, but he says, Miss, pardon me for the bad timing. For shattering briefly the dreams and love, I don't want to hurt you. It was never my intention, but if I don't express myself, it will make the situation worse. And it goes on to say, like, this is not anatomy. It is not necessary to give time to time. I love someone else that's life and the world knew it. I am very convinced you would be the best match, but no one chooses whom to love. And uh, Bars. when he closes the song, he says, you know, you're the perfect girl, but not in my world. Mm -hmm. And... There was this one girl that, bro, she would do everything for me. Like, everything, bro. Like, cooked, brought me lunch to work, um, fucking would help me with my homework. I'm not dumb, but, yeah, like, right. when I was caught up with shit, like, right. she would help me, she right? She got you, yeah. So, like, everything she could possibly do, right? Right. And I just didn't, I just couldn't give more than I wish i could have i guess right and it's not that like you don't f i guess i yeah it is like you just you're caught up on some other shit and yeah. you, you right know, girl wrong time yeah uh sometimes but sometimes it's like you know you you just don't feel that way we about somebody so yeah. yeah sometimes well sometimes you just don't feel that way about somebody you know you could 
I feel like you could love somebody to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But sometimes it's just not enough to, you know, be like. I want to be with you. Yeah. Let me yeah. give you the world. I can show you the world, head ass. Right. You know? yeah. like, <laughs> shit like that. So um, that song was really prevalent in my life right. uh, last year. And yeah, man, Bryson. So I'm telling you, bro, we can, even when we get off camera, we can still chop it up about some fucking <laughs> when music, Bryson bro. Shit. Yeah. yeah. But That's yeah. what's up, man, bro. Let the people know where to find you, what you, what the so- socials and such. Bro, catch me at Sad Boy Radio Damn. on Instagram. Uh, let me let me show them the bag, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Damn, you out here? Yeah, that shit bro. fire. So Sad Boy Radio. Uh, hold on. Sad Boy Radio. Uh, sad period boy period radio. On Instagram, uh, you can catch me on Sad Boy Radio, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, RSS feed, Pod Bay, whatever, Gang. whatever Pod fucking cast, uh, you know. Wherever you find your yeah, pod. wherever you find a yeah. podcast, you'll find Sad Boy Radio. Wherever you listen into the Storm Pod. Y'all can just go ahead and click Sad Boy Radio right now. Hit the follow, sub, like, whatever, everything. Yeah, bro. Make sure, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, bro. I really appreciate the storm having me on today. Shit was lit. You know, I just, I just talked about a lot of fucking music that really I connect to. You know, Big Sean for sure, bro. (laughs) Living single. We got Henry over here. You know what it (laughs) is. Why? (laughs) <laughs> You're supposed to be with her longer than your ass been alive. Uh, he like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, oh, th- that we didn't even mention the first verse in that song, bro. Uh, First verse is, whose is that? It's him. Big Sean doesn't have the first verse, does yes, he? Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. Oh, okay, where? I'll tell you right now. Damn, I- how did I forget how that one goes? Bro, it's crazy that all the Big Sean lyrics kind of just <laughs> left my head, even though I listen to Big Sean daily. Okay, I know what it feel like to be young and single. Ooh. You know the we, life when, when your, your pockets, pockets got, got a bunch, bunch of singles. singles. You know you taking, taking double, double shots, <laughs> saying fuck <laughs> a single. <laughs> you know hardly <laughs> getting sleep, but it's a fucking dream, dream though. though. Look, That's a bar. I know bar. what it feel like to think you found the one. Told mom that so many times I'm sounding dumb because she started mix Ashley up with Tanisha and saying hi, Brittany, when I'm on the phone with Lisa. Fuck it, I got some new hoes. I mean some XXX girls. Pussy get wet as an S curl. Then I started thinking about my XXX girl and how it was the worst time, but she was the best girl. You know, good girl, bad time, right place, wrong mind. Got my mind right, hit her up, the wrong line. The number you dialed has been disconnected. Fire. Yeah, but man, before I started feeling bad, I can't say it. Text me back. I got some hoes. Hit me back. Fuck it. Yeah. But yeah, bro. Um, Shout out Jeremiah, too. I love Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah the goat. Fire. You know what? I skip over Jeremiah and Chance in that song. I only listen to Big Sean in that song. Chance yeah. go crazy Chance in that song. Is, yeah, I was like, You're not a Chance fan, though? Nah, I don't really fuck with Chance, but I was never really big on him, to I be honest. That. His old shit is better. For a little while. Uh, the hype kind of faded. I hope his new shit is gonna be. He, he got some new shit coming. Soon. I mean, definitely in that song, bro. That's all Big Sean, bro. Big oh, Sh- yeah. Big Sean just be going crazy, but yeah, man. Jeremiah um, was singing his heart out though. Yeah, Jeremiah was singing his heart out, but yeah, man. Uh, when it comes to music, there's so much, so much music that I just be relating to, and it's all sad boy music. So that's what's up, man. I'm more fold out for all you B- Bad Bunny fans, bro. <laughs> Fuck love, uh, for sure. That's what's up, man. But we gonna go ahead and get out of here. This has been a great ass episode. Make sure to go ahead and follow Sad Boy Radio on everything. Make sure because they go it. Make sure you get that entitled too. Shout out uh, entitled, yeah. Casa Silk Screening. They did the sweaters, so hit them up. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to Casa, man. They definitely goes. But we will catch y'all next time. We out. Sad Peace. boys for real, bro. Sad boy radio.